Okay, here we go. Uh, now we are recording, I think. Yes, and uh, I was just saying, uh, I'm running a little bit behind. You guys know I normally start the Mailbag Archive at 9.45. It is now just after 9.55, um, and I've still got to bring all the mail in and get everything set up and make sure I have my coffee and, and just get prepared in general. I think I can still make it by 10, so plan on us starting at 10, uh, but I might need just a couple extra minutes. We'll see. All right, here I go. Meow, yes, I see you there. Nice to meet you. Tiny cool eye. Follow me around like a little puppy. Puppy kitty. There's a lot more for me to bring in. Covered up the way I should. Looks like these don't have anything to get covered. I gotta check the rest. Wait, there's more. everything except for my mailbag box and coffee so I've got one minute I don't know if my coffee's low I'm gonna fill it up first so you guys got to give me an extra minute
Okay, two minutes late, but moving fast. Sorry about that. First off, uh, can you guys hear me? I'm, I'm going to check the chat again to find out for sure that you can hear me okay and that it sounds like we're on the good microphone, right? I hope. Um. <laughs> Also, let me check the cameras and let's play the mailbag jingle. Well, I know that'll have sound. At least I'm fairly well confident that it will. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here we go. I think the jingle's probably done. I was checking the camera still. That was an awkward silence for a minute, wasn't it? Probably. Uh, so uh, no DJ this morning. That's the first bit of news. Uh, I know um, uh, you guys were probably looking forward to seeing her, but she is on the night shift at the hospital, which means she's still there at work right now. And she actually warned me that today could be a really long day, uh, could be a really long night for her, I guess. That's, I, uh, just get, things get weird when you're talking about night shift, uh, timey-wimey, uh, wibble-wobble. Um, uh, she might be there uh, until like 1 o'clock, so then I think her plan is to come home uh, at like 1 o'clock, catch some Z's, and then wake up and immediately start putting up the Christmas trees tonight, which... Uh, those of you that are on our Patreon uh, or our Discord or uh, both probably, uh, you guys probably know that tonight she's planning on us doing a special stream for the Patreons and the Discorders um, that uh, is uh, us putting up the Christmas tree, which we, uh, I guess a tradition that we started last year, right? Um, and I'm looking forward to that. Uh, hopefully DJ didn't sign up for too much with her long shift today and then, you know, immediately waking up and putting up Christmas trees, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, anyway, if you wanted to see DJ, that would be a way to do it. And I, I wanted to mention, um, ordinarily, uh, when we have a little bonus like this, we really only put it on the Discord and people that are on our Patreon, but not on the Discord, might not find out about it, which is why I always encourage if you, if you're on our Patreon, you, you need to get on Discord. You don't have to chat. You don't have to participate. Just get on there, and then you can see the extra stuff, and you can follow along. And there's a, a group there full of uh, alumni pictures and videos and stuff where you can watch a lot of the, the cats and talk to the people that have adopted the older, you know, cats that have already been adopted. All that stuff, it's really worth it. If you're on our Patreon, not on our Discord, you're missing out. But uh, that said, um, for tonight's stream, I am going to send a mail out using the Patreon system uh, with a link. That way people that are on the Patreon and haven't gotten onto the Discord for one reason or another still are able to tune into that. So just wanted to mention that. So anyway, I can see we have a, a lot of mailbag to get through, so I should really get rolling on it. Um, this is obviously um, because we didn't do one last week because I was hanging out with DJ. Um, and now this week uh, we've got a lot of catching up to do. So uh, I'm going to get moving, and I just I want to apologize in advance um, if uh, if I don't if it takes me a little while to get rolling and get into the swing of today's mailbag. Um, so I had uh, I don't I don't want to get into detail, but I had a little bit of a rough morning, um, and uh, it's thrown me off my game a bit. Uh, but I'm sure I will get over it very quickly. Speaking of being off my game, I know there were a pile of letters in today's mailbag. And, oh, here they are. They're behind this big letter. Okay, see? I'm already proving what I was saying. Um, I'll get it together, though, I, I hope. Probably. We'll see. We'll see if I can't. Let's see, do you guys remember these treats? It's been two weeks, and you were like whole different kittens two weeks ago. No, Google, I'm not talking to you. There you go. Hi, Taylor, do you want a treat? Well, come over here if you want a treat. Come on, Taylor, come all the way over here. Come on, right up here in front. 
Come right up in front. Here, right here. Look at these trees. That's good stuff. Okay. So, um, yeah, let's uh, let's get into it then. I've made my apologies. I've told you guys all about the tree putting up tonight. I don't think there's any other major news. So we can dig in. Our first card is a Halloween card. It says, trick or treat, smell my paws. Give me some candy or you'll feel my claws. Happy Halloween. Dr. DJ and Mr. A, hope your Halloween is perfect from Lily Cat. Well, thank you, uh, Lily Cat. That's a cute card. I, I love this, uh, the cat on there. Just the expression on his face is fantastic. I love pictures like that. I think the rest of it is kind of photoshopped, um, but uh, that's still a great photo. All right. Here we have a card, a big card from Lucia. And it's, uh, it's really nice to hear from Lucia, who I think, if I remember right, Lucia sort of grew up out here on the East Coast. And then she ended up living near where uh, Kitten Academy was in Illinois and has been a long time correspondent. And it's nice that she's still writing to us here. Wow, these are, you sent us some fancy cards. Are these for us to, to reuse, I guess? Because they're not, here we go. This one says, enjoy the cards. They are yours to send. They remind me of you. Love to both, Lucia. Have a happy, fun, and festive birthday celebration every day. It does say to have a birthday, oh, and it's like, look at this. It's a cactus all dressed up like a Christmas tree, except it's a birthday card with a birthday hat and balloon. But it does, it looks, uh, it looks appropriate in so many ways. Not only that, I don't know if Lucia even realized this, but it is, uh, my birthday's coming up, and I wouldn't even mention it, except I saw a whole bunch of people on the chat just now talking about it. So it's not like it's a secret. Cat's out of the bag. Um, it's in like two weeks, though, so don't get too excited. Uh, it's going it's gonna, to, it's a while still. Anyway, the cards you sent look really, really cool, and I don't, I don't want to open them, but I can see this one is a cat that is slicing birthday cakes with a lightsaber, and it's animated um, because it's that lenticular, like it says here. See, I'm going to have to try to figure out what the word is. It says the word right there on top for me. That's really cool. I love that stuff. Um, we've got actually two of that card. Here we have one that is a, an exploding planet that is a sticker. Actually, it looks like it's a, it looks like it's actually a, a patch, like it's made of a, a cloth material. And it's got all these little jewels uh, on it. It's very sparkly and beads. I can see these are little actual beads that are on there. And it says I can take it off and stick it on things, which is actually so cool. Uh, I might almost not want to send that card to anybody. And then this one is probably the coolest. It says sound and light up card. And it actually says press here, so maybe we can try it. Let's see. It's okay. You guys are not expecting that, are you? Wow, that is a very disco cat. I really like that. I'm just surprised by how the kittens always seem so concerned about the cards that make noise. Of course, this class hasn't been exposed to stuff like the TV yet, so I guess that could be really weird for them. But uh, at the same time, that wasn't very loud, and uh, the lights weren't all that bright. I wonder why it's it's uh, such a, a, an experience for them. You can see how they reacted. They all backed off, and now they're going other places in the room. We need to start getting them exposed to the TV. I was just talking to DJ last night about how I think these kids are now big enough that it might be time for them to start visiting the spa at night. Uh, I think that would be really good for them. In fact, the only reason I didn't do it last night is I felt like the faculty needed some more time with me. So uh, anyway, here we've got a card that is from Marfair on Discord. I love that people now are writing their names in the return address so that we know who it's from and I can say it before I even open it. And this card is so cute. Look at this. It's got a, a little hand-painted cat that's playing with these uh, Christmas tree ornaments. And on the bottom, one ear has fallen and is broken. Can you see that? You see how there's a little Christmas tree ornament that is knocked down on the, on the bottom there? That is way, way too cute. 
Uh, oh, it's not even, it's, I said hand-drawn. Uh, this cat is actually a paper. It's cut out paper that's been pasted on here and then painted. So this is, this is some very fancy multimedia art. Uh, that is awesome. Marf Bear, I can tell you did that, and it is fantastic. I really dig that. And I'm glad to see so many cards this week. I love cards. You guys know that. I love getting the letters. It's part, my, one of my favorite parts of mailbag. So here we have a kitten that's all tangled up in Christmas lights with a broken ornament in front of it. And it says, uh-oh, Mary Cat's Mess. Mary Cat's Mess. Now, how come I've never heard that pun before? Hope the helpers, hope the helpers don't break too many ornaments. Happy tree decorating day from Karen, who is Marf Bear on Discord. M-A-R-F-B-E-A-R, -E Marf Bear. Karen, thank you so much. That is so sweet. And uh, look at that. It is decorating day, so your card arrived exactly the right time. I guess it's nice that everybody is excited about the decorating day. It feels so um, early. It feels early to be doing it before Halloween. Uh, but you know what? I just saw, you, you look at these things online. Google's always showing you, you know, uh, showing me anyway, articles about stuff it thinks I might be interested in. I never know how it knows what I might be interested in, but it, sometimes it's eerie. Uh, and this morning, it decided to show me an article. It's obviously one of those articles that is, you know, a puff piece. And I'm, I didn't even read it. I just read the headline, uh, you know, which is really all they want you to do. Um, so I, I don't put a lot of uh, weight in the article. But nonetheless, the headline was something about how uh, people that decorate earlier for Christmas are happier. Um, which, I don't know, I guess I could see a lot of ways that that could just be sort of a, you know, something that is, um, uh, there's a little kitty with a pumpkin here on the back of this card that's too cute. This is from Pumpkin Spot and Tumby. I, I, I was going to say, I could just see how could that, that could be something where, you know, these two things, you, you decorate, you're happier because you decorate, or you're, you decorate earlier because you're happier, or you're just happier in general because you're excited about Christmas and it's almost Christmas, you know? Whereas the people who aren't that excited about Christmas and don't decorate early don't have anything to be all excited about, right? It just I, I'm just saying maybe it just is one of those things that's so obvious, like why you even need an article about it. Um, I don't know. Anyway, this card is from Pumpkin Spot and Tumby, and it is a beautiful card. I love this uh, style of cat. It's very Halloween-y also. And it says, have yourself a spooky little Halloween purrs and needs from Tumby, Spot, and Pumpkin. And... Uh, and then, um, actually, I see this is on the back. We have Tumby, Pumpkin, and a tiny little spot. So I see what you did there. I get it. Uh, it says, Mr. A and DJ, it's just spooky how awesome you guys are. Thanks so much for your help with Pumpkin and for all you do for cats, kittens, and all us humans. You are making a difference uh, with a heart, and it says Melinda. Well, thank you, Melinda, very much. Uh, it's very nice of you to say that, and this is a, an adorable card. And I just, I love getting the cards. Really, the cards and the notes are my favorite part. Okay. I'm going to have a little sip of my coffee here. Kittens are all playing in their box, which you probably can't even see that well, because I've got all these boxes in front of it. Let's see if I can give you a view through into the box. I hope hope that works. Okay. All right. Oh, here we have one that's sealed with uh, some things that say, Autumn Greetings, Grateful for You and Thankful. Very cute. Brr. 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 What are you doing, honey? You want to hang out with me while I open stuff? You can hang out right here. You can get in my lab. Meet all the trees you left when that card uh, got opened. Oh, now this is a great photo. I'm not even sure this is photoshopped. It looks like it could be legit. That is fantastic. Huh. That is a really, really awesome photo, if that's uh, real. It does say on the back, it just says, Photo Alan Wallace. Um, that's all it says about it. How wonderful. Anyway, inside it says, Peekaboo, Happy Halloween. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, thank you so much for creating Kitten Academy. I have learned so much about caring for newborn kittens from watching you both on the live stream. The care and love that you give to each mom cat and kittens gives them the best start in their lives. 
Thank you for sharing Kitten Academy with us. Love, Redwood on Discord, and my two kitties, Penny and Nikki. And I love uh, that Redwood, you have also drawn their little smiling kitty faces on the bottom here, Penny and Nikki. That is adorable. It looks like Penny might have her tongue stuck out too. Uh, that is super, super cute. Thank you so much. All right, we've got some more here, and we're starting to get some kitty attention, which is good. All right. Wow, this has got a cool stamp. It's just one of the Forever USA stamps, but it's got like a Chinese uh, pagoda with a dragon, or, or maybe it's Japanese. I guess I wouldn't know how to tell the difference. Um yeah, I don't know, the dragon, uh, well, I guess it goes either way. I don't know. Uh, anyway, it says, okay to read on air. So this is clearly from somebody that, that has been watching for a while and knows that I like that. And, oh, look at this. This is like an old woodblock print that says Halloween with, uh, with four cats, four black cats looking at a pumpkin. Very cool. And it says, Dear Kitten Academy, we know for KA it may be Christmas time, but first things first, happy Halloween. From Roy and Rhonda, who is Donut Miser on Discord. That's D-O-N-U-T-M-I-S-E-R, Donut Miser on Discord. And uh, also from Akiko, Vincent, and Logan, who are the cats. You have a Logan also. Look at that. Well, we've got that in common, and you've also drawn a little cat face here to represent them. So cute. I love this card, too. This is fantastic. And uh, Donut Miser, that's awesome. That reminds me about uh, Miser. Um, I don't know. This the, DJ and I have had uh, long conversations about words that you just you get wrong, you misunderstand. If, you, if you're somebody like DJ and I, we both grew up reading a ton just just bookworms like the most legitimate kind of bookworm you could imagine and if you are a bookworm you have had the experience where you've read a word in a book so many times and you know the word very well uh, but you you don't know how to pronounce it because you've never heard it said and uh one of my favorite examples of that was from dj and her word was uh misled um you know but she always thought that it was pronounced like misel, like miser, like like the word was misel. So now we, we say misel uh, at each other all the time instead of misled because it's just so cute. Anyway, so yeah, Donut Miser made me think of that. Uh, that's, a, that's a great name. Okay, uh, we have one more and uh, there's a note on the back of this card. First off, there's a cute little puppy uh, sparkly cat sticker. But there's a note that says, Sorry, I accidentally wrote two ands next to each other. All right, well, we'll keep an eye out for that, but you guys, uh, you probably are all familiar with um, those sort of psychological experiments that do that on purpose and show you how often people just read over them as one word because our brains work that way. So I probably wouldn't have even noticed, but you pointed it out and now I will. Uh, now this is an amazing card, oh my gosh. Um, this is a handmade uh, uh, cross stitch of Ari the Bat Cat. It says Ari the Spooky Cat Bat, and it is a little Ari cat with bat wings and a little night scene there. And this is all real uh, cross stitch that has been inserted into this card that says Happy Halloween, then. So you've made this entire card yourself. Um, that is spectacular. This is, this is fantastic. And I think you did this for us once before because I've still got the one with the three cats. It's, uh, it's up on our card wall in the kitchen. I see it every single day. So uh, this, is, this is fantastic to have another one to add. Now I'm going to have to move your card and this card into our display cabinet instead of our card wall. I think you've, uh, with the second card, we've really reached that point. Inside it says, to Mr. A and DJ, happy Halloween and spooky month. Thank you again for all you do. We love watching close-ups together on the TV in the evenings and seeing the kitten's progress as well as listening to you chat. From Gabby, who is Gabby underscore Mo on Discord, that's G-A-B-Y underscore M-O on Discord. Also from Daphne, Alan, Ian, and Bella, our cat. And then there's some also some very cute little cat stickers in here. 
this this is completely <coughs> excuse me getting a little uh, <coughs> congested I know nobody wants to listen to that sorry um, this is completely wonderful though thank you so very much I don't ordinarily talk this much for so long so I think that kind of gets my uh, my lungs active <coughs> And I know you don't want to hear me talking like I got stuff to cough up, so it's better that I do. All right. Uh, I think that concludes the uh, letter segment of the show. But there's probably some also hidden in these boxes, so we will get to those. Time for a sip of coffee. Mm. Oh, that's the good stuff. And let's, let's just check our phone real quick here. Excellent. All right, good. I, I love the stuff that goes on the Discord chat while we are doing the mailbag. I, I just, I'd like to, I wish I could read it while I was doing mailbag consistently, but that's obviously, we just make mailbag uh, take forever. And you'd be watching me just sit here and stare at my phone so often, it wouldn't be worth it. Uh, but I do, every time after Mailbag, go back and read all of the chat and try to remember what uh, people were talking about, you know, what I was opening when they were saying that stuff. And it's, it's wonderful for me. I just, I just love the Discord chat during Mailbag. So this package is from Sir Geek and Callie. Uh, I know that because they have written it on the outside like they ought to. And this says, hi, I'm a note. I can be read on stream. Because you guys are pros, I know, that have been watching and hanging out with us for a while. So you're hitting all of the notes. <laughs> you're hitting all of the notes. All right, yes. Um, this says, you're having a Christmas tree trimming party this weekend with a surprised cat. And uh, on the back, it also says, Merry Fluffin' Christmas created just for you by Linda with a picture of the cats. On the inside it says, guess it's a good thing we sent this now, isn't it? Just a cute thing we saw and thought might be nice considering the number of Christmas trees that have been mentioned to be decorated. Happy tree trimming from Linda and Matt, who are Callie Mo, Sans Sir Geek, and Sir Geek No Callie Mo on the Discord. Um, that is wonderful. Thank you so much. That's a great card. And uh, yeah, so people have been speculating on the number of Christmas trees that we are going to decorate, but DJ promises me it's only two Christmas trees. You know, there's, we don't, DJ and I really don't celebrate uh, many holidays. You know, we don't even really, we don't celebrate our anniversary. We don't celebrate birthdays. Uh, I've mentioned that before, and it's not any sort of, um, you know, it's not like a political statement or a religious thing. It's just, we just don't. It's just never been something that is important to us. We try to appreciate each other every day. And uh, we try to sort of appreciate life every day. And I think we do a pretty good job of that. Um, but Christmas is the one exception where we, we get really, really involved. And uh, that's just because DJ loves it. We just do it, you know, because it's her thing. So, uh, yeah. Anyway. Yes, yeah, so that is uh, that's my excuse anyway for why we're starting so early because it's our only one, right? And look at this. This is so cute. This looks like it's uh, probably handmade. Uh, what do you call that? That uh, plastic modeling clay stuff, right? I think that's what this is made from. And on the back it says Kitten Academy CT. And it says 2019, and obviously it is a cat wearing Christmas hat on holding a giant fish. And it is super cute, and it's got a little jingly bell uh, on the end of its hat. It's a real jingly bell. And it is adorable. I just, I love this cat. What a great job. I, this is fantastic. I also love the fish. It's very, the fish's spots are sort of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Abstract, I guess. Uh, which I really like. That's fantastic. Uh, surreal, I think. Surreal is maybe the word I was looking for. It looks like a fish uh, drawn by a surrealist, to me, anyway. And I like that. I, I really, really do. So thank you so much. I will set that aside. We've actually gotten a few Christmas ornaments from folks already this year. And I don't know what DJ's plan is because she doesn't discuss these things with me. And it is, Christmas is her plan. Oh, polymer clay. Yes, that's the word I was looking for, polymer clay. 
um, Christmas really is her plan, so I just let her come up with whatever she's going to do. And uh, tonight's going to be as big a surprise for me as it is for you guys, if there's anything you know going on. Um, but my thought was that we could have one tree that she decorates with all of her pretty uh, picked out stuff that's all matching and you know um, it's, it's coordinated Christmas tree. And then the other Christmas tree, we just put on everything that everybody sends us, right? And we've already got uh, three ornaments that are new this year that people have given us in the last few weeks that are sitting out there ready. So this is number four. Plus, we've got a ton of ornaments from previous years that are fantastic. Somebody sent in ones that were decorated for each faculty member, especially that looked like those faculty members. Those were at KAcon, and you would have seen them if you were there. And also one of my favorites is the hand-felted Ari taco, which I don't know if it was intended to be a Christmas or tree ornament or not, but it's got the loop on it that, that makes it a perfect Christmas tree ornament, so it would have to go on there. Uh, anyway, this is, this is fantastic, and I don't know how I'm organizing all of this stuff yet, so I'm just going to set it right in front of me until I figure that out. Maybe I should open a box so that we have some place to put things. Oh, look, here's a box that I have opened. Um, I did actually, uh, you guys, some of you may have been looking at this and wondering, why is there an open box in the mailbag? Well, there's a reason. Um, I did open the box early. I cheated on this one because this is from Zenathon, and there is a note that says, wet and dry food for new additions to the Academy, thumbs up emoji, cat emoji, from Raylene and Zenathon. So uh, for every class now, Raylene and Zenathon have sent us a bit of RC Mom and Baby Cat Wet, RC Mom and Baby Cat Dry, and KMR, uh, which is fantastic because I have discovered now that DJ has left me in charge of ordering all the cat food, how expensive that stuff is. Woo. Oh boy. Uh, I'm not that we're hurting for it. Just I, I, I'm just appreciating how generous you are to send us some because uh, that is a ding on the pocketbook for sure. And uh, the reason that this is already open is that I ran out of food this week, and I'd already ordered some from Chewy, but it was going to be one day late. And I knew this was sitting in the mailbag pile waiting because Zenathon had mentioned to me on chat that he'd sent it again. Uh, so I took advantage, uh, asked him which package it was, and I opened it up, and I started using the RC Mom and Baby Cat this week, and we've been going through a lot of this right now uh, because these guys all love it, and they get uh, almost three cans a day in this room um, because that's how much they'll eat, and they're growing kittens, so they should get all that they want. But the surprising thing is that our mom cat upstairs, Brooke, has been going through about two cans a day, and she would do more if I let her, uh, which is amazing to me because that's a normal amount for a mom cat that has a full litter of kittens. She's only got the one kitten, so I think she's going to turn out to be somebody that likes to eat a lot. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I've told this story before, but she um, she actually got sent to us because she likes to eat a lot, I think, in a way, because uh, she had one kitten, and then the, the people got concerned that she had more kittens that hadn't been delivered because she was so round. So they brought her to the vet, and they ended up, one thing and another, uh, they ended up surrendering her to the vet, and uh, that's how she came to us. But, uh, but it turns out she didn't have any more kittens. She, it was just one kitten, and she's also kind of big. Um, she doesn't look that big to me, actually. Maybe she was a little rounder. Maybe she had some gas or something that has passed since then. But I, she is putting on weight at, at a rate that is uh, abnormal for a mom cat. So... Uh, she's definitely working on getting that mom weight back, I guess. They normally lose some after they've given birth to a kitten, and she is she's doing all she can to keep the weight up. So that's good. I approve, actually, until they, they get to be, you know, until we've got to start putting them on the special diet, I think they should eat all they can. And uh, you know, we, like, we like cats that have a little bit of extra weight so we know they're nice and healthy. Uh, but uh, like the faculty, like Custard, has to go on a diet. He's, he's gone a little bit too far. Um, anyway, so uh, uh, Raylene and Xenathon, thank you so much. I wanted to mention um, this, this may end up being completely irrelevant, um, but you said that you sent dry food too, and it wasn't in the same box, which was a surprise to me. So hopefully it'll turn up in one of these other boxes. That'll be, uh, that's what I would expect. But we didn't need the dry food. All I needed was the wet. And you can see I've gone through almost all of it since I talked to you just a couple days ago. 
Um, and then I will have to open the stuff. Mine did arrive, by the way. I've got plenty now, so don't worry about that. Uh, also, I should mention for anybody who's listening and was thinking about sending us food like they do, that's always welcome. Um, you know, it's, again, it's always something that is eminently practical, and I love the practical stuff that people send us because we will use it. I mean, there's just no question that we'll go through it. Um, but uh, I did tell Xenathon, uh, Xenathon asked me, you know, if there's anything that he should change. And I said, you know, don't don't send us any KMR this time. Our need for KMR is much lower than the other stuff because we only use it if there's trouble with the nursing, if, the, if they're not getting enough nursing or if the mom just doesn't want to nurse or, if, you know, we have a kitten that, that won't nurse. I don't I think Charlie never nursed and we had to go through a little bit of extra KMR before he learned to eat solid food, which didn't take long. Um, you know, so we use a little bit of KMR. Usually we use a little bit for every class. We've had two classes in a row now where we haven't, I don't think, had to use any. Um, but that just means we don't need it sent to us all the time. It lasts, uh, I think the expiration date on a can of KMR is like two years out, so we can hang on to it for a while. And we've got a good stockpile of the KMR right now. So, so thank you. And you didn't send any. I'm just telling anybody else that thinks they might need to. You don't. You don't have to send the KMR. Um, but anytime anybody wants to send us mother and baby cat, wet or dry, uh, that's the stuff that we use just all the time. And these guys are on it. So thank you. Uh, thank you, Xenathon, so much for, for sending us something completely practical like that. All right. Um, I need to, let's say, we're going to do Dino Ruth uh, next. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dino Ruth's package has actually been here for like three weeks because we held it over from the last mailbag that we did three weeks ago um, on account of she wasn't going to be there to see us open it. And so this one's been sitting there for a while. Also on the outside, it does say Dino Ruth and it says yay mailbag with a drawing of a cat. Oh, it says that on this side too, look at that. Um, so this is cute and I've been staring at this for three weeks and now we finally get to open it up and see what is going on in there. All right. Ah, the note, and this is the note. Look at that, it is a note, it says the note, and it says okay to read on stream, hitting all of the points. There we go. Oh wow, this is a cool note, look at that. It opens up like a, like a I don't know, a, something that opens up. Hmm. I'm, I told you I was a little off my game today, right? Well, I am. Anyway, this is really cool too, because look, it's got one page that has a giant A for Mr. A and one page that has a giant BJ and they've got little cats on them. That is so cute. And it says, Dear Mr. A and DJ, oh, I mean Dr. DJ, I've been such a slacker on Discord and someone already stole my idea to send you a bunch of letters. So I thought I would send you a couple of really long letters. I see it is a long letter. I, I see what you did there. It says, forgive my poor drawing skills. I think they're great. Uh, I have so enjoyed watching all the antics of the recent classes, especially the tiny pants and wiggles. They are all so cute and you do such a wonderful job uh, bringing them up right. I know you say that you get lots of stuff, so here are some things that are consumable. Please distribute as you see fit. I remember you saying you can never have enough churu, so here's some more. I had the mousy cat treat dispensers in mind for Taylor and the tiny pants, but distribute however you like. The faculty might get a kick out of them too. And of course, springs. For DJ, I enclosed a whisker for her collection. And for you, Mr. A, a couple of quirky newspapers from rural Georgia I'm sure you'll find interesting. Sorry I didn't make it to KACON this year. What could top my visit to KACON 2? But I hope to join you all again next year. Thank you also for the best place on the internet. It is a cherished place of peace and happiness we all treasure. From Dino Ruth on Discord. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you are, um, you're right that uh, nothing could top your visit to KACON 2, which I, I won't ever forget because you wore that hat that was covered in dinosaurs. Uh, so that was, that was pretty memorable. Uh, I like that quite a bit. Here you have sent us Churu. Uh, we've got Churu Churu. I can see we've got two packages of Churu. I love giving these away in the endowments and uh, I'll especially love giving them away in the endowments for this class because I know this class now are Churu addicts. Uh, they are crazy for it, all of them. 
You've also sent Temptations in five different flavors. One, two, three, four, five, which is also fantastic. You have sent uh, DJ's Whisker for her Whisker collection, which I'll put over here in what is going to become the pile of stuff that is going to us. Um, you have sent 10 packs of springs. It says each one of these boxes, here we go, contains, each box contains three packs of 10 springs for 30 springs. So we've got 30 springs here. We have 30 springs there. So you've sent us 60 springs that will also be perfect for distributing. That is, uh, by my estimation, uh, one pack of springs for each of these kids, plus two for faculty, maybe? Or we could just distribute it perfectly evenly for one for each of these guys and one for each of the guys upstairs, right? That makes more sense. Of course it does. Here you have sent product introduction. Shaking Q-Pet is a fun foraging toy for pets. It allows your pet to see, smell, and hear the food inside the toy. Excellent. Your cat will swing it around and attempt to dislodge the food from the toy so that it can be eaten. The structure design will effectively control the quantity your pet will be able to consume, preventing indigestion. Your pet will be amusing himself while getting exercise and interacting with you. Excellent. It is the Shaking Q pet. And uh, let's just get one of these out so we can see. Oh, fantastic. This is a very cute little mouse. And the mouse has a, a base, so it stands up straight. And then it's got, this one has actually uh, three big holes in it. Uh, so it looks like the easy mode compared to some of them that I've seen. Some of them only have the, the one hole. Um, but that is cool because I know a lot of cats that could use an easy mode. So uh, that's pretty cool. Thank you so much. And you have sent not just two of these, you've sent four of these, which is perfect for this class. I'm just going to take a look at another one here, see if they're all the same color and everything. They are exactly the same. Also, I think the mouse face is super cute because he's got a tiny, tiny hole for his mouth. I don't know what good that does, but it's very cute with two uh, little buck teeth right above the hole. Super cute. Here we have a uh, tiny culotte now has decided to check out the newspapers, which you have sent, which are amusing. <clears throat> the historical news state of Georgia. I love it. And not only that, I love that, that right on the front page, their front page, instead of being news, their front page is advertisements, um, which is the best part of any newspaper anyway. So that it makes it excellent and extra cool, I guess. Right on the front, the four, the front page is, is just a square for advertisements. And the Good to go Jamaican restaurant, Miller's Coins and Currency, Willow Pond Senior Care, and Four Paws Grooming. Uh, that is that is actually really cool, and I love to read the the, um, the ads. Then once we get inside, then we start to get into things that aren't all ads. Look at that historical news. This looks like it is actually all historical news. I'm just sort of skimming it, but. Um, it's all like there's a obituary here, or I guess sort of an obituary, maybe it's just a biography, I can't tell, of someone who uh, died in 1891. The, uh, one of the top stories on the first page inside is a murder from 1881, which is uh, actually copied, the article is copied from the Dublin Post from Dublin, Georgia. I don't know if that's how they pronounce it in Georgia, but Dublin, Georgia, um, from February 23rd, 1881. Uh, some of these other ones all, they all, here's the uh, short year, uh, short year by year history of the Atlanta Braves. And then there's a picture of the Boston Bean Eaters, 1897. So it actually is a historical newspaper. It is the historical news. That's interesting, too, that they, they apparently put it out on a monthly basis, um, which seems strange because, you know, it seems like you could just put it out once and you could cover all the history. It's not like there's breaking news in the historical news industry, right? Um, maybe that's why they're able to put their advertisements on the front page. At any rate, those look really cute, and I am looking forward to digging into them in more depth. Thank you so much, Dino Roof. That is going to be super fun.
And uh, the stuff you sent is going to make uh, excellent, excellent endowments. All right, I'm going to put this in here for now, and we'll start accumulating the endowments in that box. And I'm going to put your amazing card over here. There we go. We're going to have a sip of coffee, and we're going to keep moving. Mm. We have a lot of mail to get through, but I feel like I feel like I should uh, sort of kick it into high gear and try to get through it all today because I don't, I don't want to, you know, we took two weeks for this mailbag. I don't want to push anything off for another week, right? Nobody would appreciate that. This is a very cute box, by the way. It's a reused Amazon Prime box, but here they've put a bit of um, brown paper with our address and a, a piece of plaid here, which is just, it just makes it look cool. I like the plaid. That's a neat effect. All right, let's see what we got here. I also like the fact that it's a reused Amazon Prime box. Like, that is the best way to recycle, right? <clears throat> wow. So it uh, starts right out with tissue paper that says XOXOXOXO on the tissue paper. That's so cute. And inside we have kitchen towels. Look at these. These are really nice. And a reversible drying mat that matches. So... Here we have permade, and it actually says permade on it this time. It's the first time I've, I think I've seen the word permade, even though it's not the first time I've seen a catfish uh, motif like this. I mean, it's the first time I've seen this particular one, and I like it. The art here is very cute. Uh, so it's a permade uh, dish towel and a reversible drying mat, which is very cool because if you've been watching for a while, you know, um, I don't. I don't think we use the drying mats for actually drying dishes very often. We do sometimes, but what we really use it for is a mat that's soft that we can put on our counter and let Acro and the other cats uh, sit on, which they do. So this is going to be a really, really fun mat for Acro to sit on. And uh, these days, it's not even Acro all the time. I've seen. Ari and Eddie both spend an equal amount of time up there on the counter uh, as well. And I like this. Not only that, it's the first one that we have now that matches the hand towel. So we can put the hand towel on the one side and that over there. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to make our kitchen look really nice. That's, that's super cool of you. I really appreciate it. We also have some Halloween-themed kitchen towels. This one is a very cute print of a cat, Halloween cat. And this one is a Halloween trick-or-treating cats that are dressed up as various things. We have one dressed as a ladybug and one here that looks like some kind of a princess. A zombie cat, a pumpkin cat. That's a that's kind of clever. Um, or actually, maybe he's not even trying to be a pumpkin, but uh, you could dress Acro up as a pumpkin without very much effort at all. Hmm, there's an idea. Oh, here's the note. Okay, good. I was kind of looking for it. Oh, it's not just the note. It is the spooky note. And look at the way this is painted. This is fantastic. Uh, wow, somebody put a lot of effort into this. And uh, not only that, it's sealed with this sticker. I've never seen a sticker like this that has uh, glitter in it. The sticker itself is like one of those snow globes with uh, little sequins in it. I mean, not glitter. So this is, wow, this is an extraordinarily awesome, spooky note. And I think you've painted this with sponges yourself. I'm like, that's, that's some serious work has gone into just making this envelope. Oh, the inside's painted too, so maybe maybe you don't get all the credit for that, or maybe you do. I have no idea. Let's find out what this is all about. It says October 2019 for Inktober Day 18 from Mom to Felix, and look at that. It does have some handmade art right here. This is a beautiful cat with a pumpkin, with pumpkins, I should say. Uh, that is amazing, and it says inside. Mr. A and Dr. DJ, happy meow Halloween to you. I thought I would send you some items to help you get into the spirit of Halloween this year, so I sent you some cute kitchen towels and cups for at home and on the go. You will see I also sent a items for your kitchen to actually permades. I hope you enjoy them. Thanks for all you do. Hugs and spoogles from Dina, who is mom to Felix, and also from Felix, too. Uh, mom to Felix, this is fantastic art. I love this stuff that you have picked out. And I wanted to mention, I think I would said uh, at some point in one of the last streams that we don't, you know, we haven't decorated for Halloween because Halloween's not one of those 
uh, things that we typically get into in a big way. Of course, our excuse for that, we tried. We decorated two years in a row. We went all out for Halloween. We got like a hay bale from an actual hay bale from a farm, put it on our front porch, which, by the way, creates a giant mess. And I don't suggest anybody ever do it. We got gourds and pumpkins, and we carved the pumpkins, and we put the gourds out there. We made a nice scene, like a harvest-type Halloween scene. Uh, we did all the things. We did that for two years, but we discovered at the old house, nobody comes by to trick or treat. Nobody. No, there was, I mean, in the, in, we were there for almost a decade, and there was one time that some teenagers showed up demanding candy once. That was it. Uh, so we stopped. You know, it wasn't our thing to start with, and nobody came by, so why bother? Um, I, this is our first Halloween in Connecticut, so I can't say how it's going to go. But I have a suspicion it's going to be busy. Uh, and I say that because I know there's kids in the neighborhood. There's a family that has a couple little girls that live two houses down. I've seen other ones further down the street. I think we're going to get some trick-or-treaters here. Um, to that end, I've already gotten a ton of candy, uh, which I just hope lasts until Halloween. Otherwise, you know, it's their fault for not coming early. That's what I say anyway. Um, so, uh, yeah, I was going to mention, though, that... Um, Twist's adopter brought us some Halloween decorations specifically for that purpose. So I put those up. We've got this Halloween box, too. We've got another one of those for the faculty that someone sent that I put in the front also so that when people come to the door, they can see that. And uh, we've got a, the Nest doorbell. And Nest this year now has themes. So now every time somebody presses our doorbell, it makes spooky noises. Uh, between those... And the fact that I've stopped cleaning the cobwebs off of the front porch, I feel like we're pretty well set now, right? We've got this stuff, we've got that stuff, we've got cobwebs all over the front of the house. It's perfect. So we're ready. We're ready for Halloween this year for the first time. Uh, let me see what else you've got in here. You have, what is this? This is so cool. Oh my gosh. It is a, a Christmas mermaid uh, pineapple? This, first off, is awesome. This pineapple, just by itself, a sequined pineapple thing, it's beautiful. And I know DJ is going to go crazy for this. But then it also says that it changes colors. Oh, it does. Look at that when you draw on it. So you can use this um, sort of like the magic pillow that, that Pat sent us, except this one is a, a DIY. You draw your own stuff on it. So I can draw whatever I want, and let's just see. Actually, let's just try. Let's draw K, A, A. Hey, that's very cool. This is going to be hours of fun just for me. I'm just going to put this someplace where I can play with it. It matches uh, the stuff that's in the the uh, sunroom really well too. I don't know if you picked this color on purpose to match the sunroom or just because it was the color they had. I have no idea who came up with the idea to make this into a pineapple. Like, why? Why is this a thing? I don't. I don't understand why it's a thing, but I love it. It is exactly perfect in every way. Even the fact that it's a pineapple, I think, is perfect. I, that is so so cool. Thank you. Um, and there's there's more. Let's see. Oh. Look at that. This is a Cantini double wall vacuum insulated 16 ounce mug that says feline spooky on it. This is, this is great. Wow. I love the way this thing feels in my hand. Like the shape of it and the size of it is really, really nice. I also, I've mentioned this before, um, that one of the reasons that I love these Christmas mugs that someone sent us last year that I have used year round. Uh, one of the reasons I love them is that the top is so simple. It's just a it's just a little clip that flips open and shut. That's all there is. And I love that about it uh, because it's easy to clean and it's it's never going to break and it's easy to use. You know, you get all these ones with like the springs and the quick release and these levers and stuff in there, and you never get them clean. And then when you go to drink out of it, you, like you taste soap. You know, all the time, no matter what you do. These simple ones are so much better that way. And this also has uh, a nice simple lid with a, a good seal on it. And then just a little slider. Just slide open, shut, open, shut. That should be easy to get nice and clean. Uh, 
This is a great mug and I like it. I'm, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna probably use it year round, just like I do for the Christmas one. If I can use a Christmas mug all year, why can't I use a Halloween mug all year? And here we have one that says creeping me out and uh, it's a more traditional ceramic mug. Uh, it's kind of got a cool shape to it too though. I really like these. It's got kind of a fat uh, bottom on it, which is nice. And it's a, it's a big mug. It's a, I don't know how many ounces it is, but it's the large size, which is the only kind of mug that DJ will use. She won't use a standard size coffee mug, uh, which again, I don't, I don't know what those sizes are, but uh, she only uses the big mugs and this will be perfect for her tea. Uh, she, drinks mug, uh, she drinks tea out of a mug all day long at home. So that'll be fantastic for her. This is this is some cool stuff. I'm excited to deploy this. In fact, I'm excited to deploy it around the house before DJ gets home so that uh, she will be surprised and she'll be like, oh, what is all this stuff? Uh, so thank you so much. And now I'm going to use your box to put all of our stuff into. We'll see how long that lasts. Hopefully it does last. You know, we, we always try, and DJ would, would appreciate me saying this now, we always try to encourage folks to send things uh, that are for the cast rather than stuff for us. Not that we don't appreciate when we get stuff. We, we do appreciate it, um, but you know, we, we like to try to keep it about the cats as much as possible. Um, nonetheless, uh, thank you, thank you so much. Oh, this is very cool. And I actually, and now I do think, I'm gonna reverse my opinion again. I think you did paint the outside of this envelope yourself because I see it's not really painted inside. It's just painted where you would see exposed if you had the envelope open. So that's that's all a lot of amazing work. You put a ton of work into this. It's fantastic. And my favorite parts, I mean, it's all, you sent us some really cool stuff. But there's no question that my favorite parts are the parts that, that you drew and the parts that you made. That's the coolest stuff. So these kids are all up and down this tree. I can turn on that ceiling camera for all of you, I think. Um, I just, I don't know if they're going to stay in front of it uh, long enough. Being so silly right now. Hang on, let me get the picture before I start trying to change the camera. Oh, come on now. You were just looking so cute. That, I think that'll do for a picture for now. I'm gonna try to switch you to the ceiling camera so that you can kind of see them maybe, but they're mostly on this side of the tree, which doesn't show up on the camera very well. Still, let's do what we can there. You got Nick, I see Nick right there. He's on the right side. Oh, and now you're gonna come down here. Of course, kittens, why are you this way? Okay, uh, moving right along. Here we have a uh, letter that says uh, three different times. It says, please do not bend. Please do not bend. Do not bend, please. And of course, I found this in our post office box folded in half. Um, you know, what are you gonna do, right? I think I recognize this handwriting, by the way. Uh -huh. Oh, what is this? Oh, it is, yes. So this is this is from Lucia, and it includes a sharper image catalog. I haven't seen one of those in a while, but that's cool. Oh, this is such a great photo. What is, this is great. Um, let me see what I'm doing. Oh, so this is Rooney. My dear sweet Rooney, he was in the newspaper because he was chunky and loved his food. A contest. Loganberry is my Rooney too, from Lucia. Lucia, that's so sweet. And this is the first time I think. Now, if you guys have been watching Kitten Academy for a while, uh, you know Lucia. She has been writing to us since day one, I think, and just a regular correspondent uh, all the time. Um, so uh, this, she sent us a sharper image catalog too. By the way, I'm kind of excited to look through this because my dad used to get this when I was a kid. And I would just, I loved, I wanted every single thing that was in there because it's all like cool techie stuff. Even at the back in then, which was, believe me, a long time ago. Uh, so I'm, that's going to be fun for me. Thank you just for throwing that in. Um, but this is the coolest thing that you sent uh, because uh, you sent me a picture of your brother, Ted, and you uh, taken, this photo taken in Norwalk, Connecticut. Like I was just saying, I know you are from New England. 
And uh, I'm going to show the picture to everybody because it is a great photo and because it is the first time I think that any of us have seen you. So this is Ted and Lucia. That's a fantastic photo too. Thank you so much for sending this, Lucia. This is, this is very special to me um, just because we have been talking to you for so long and obviously you have seen us many times. Um, but that's the first time that we've seen you. So that's fantastic. Thank you. And, uh, and that was a, it seems like um, just, a, just a wonderful photo. Thank you so much, Lucia. Um, I put that in with the stuff that is for us, of course. All right. We still have a lot of boxes to go through, and it is 11 o'clock, but I think we can finish before it's been a two-hour mailbag. That's, that's my goal. Let's try it. And obviously, for those of you who are watching at home, uh, you know, I, I appreciate it, but don't feel like you have to go through the marathon session with me all at once. We will upload this, or you can rewind later, you know, catch it later in the day, go make a sandwich, you know, whatever you got to do. You don't have to watch it straight through. I understand. Um, speaking of making a sandwich, I saw every, every Saturday for Mailbag, our friends, the Scooters, on the chat, they end up posting a picture of their breakfast that they make. They make uh, breakfast together, and then they sit down and watch the mailbag while they're having their breakfast. And every week, in fact, I'll be honest, I was thinking about that when I woke up this morning. I was thinking about the scooter's breakfast when I woke up. It was the first thing on my mind was, oh, my gosh, I'm going to see the picture of their breakfast and be so jealous again. Just, it's fantastic. They make a whole spread. It looks like, you remember when, when you, you used to watch cereal commercials on TV and they would show you the cereal and then they would show this huge breakfast spread and it would say, this cereal is part of a complete breakfast. And you'd be like, you know, everybody only just eats the cereal. They don't make that complete breakfast, but they'd have this whole table laid out with like the toast and the orange juice and all this really nice stuff. That's, that's what their pictures look like, like, like the complete breakfast picture. It's fantastic. Anyway. This package says, uh, hello, Kitten Academy. This package is for the new mama kitty. Hopefully, you won't need to use many wipes and every brook needs a fish. Enjoy your gifts from Lisa G. Oh, my gosh, Lisa G, this is perfect. So, first off, you sent us some uh, wipes that are pet grooming wipes. And it says on the side of it, uh, appropriate to clean paws, coat, face, ears, skin, and even teeth. So if you can use this to clean your cat's teeth, you must know that it is, uh, it's good. It says on the bottom that it is uh, smell-free, alcohol-free, and mild enough for everyday use. That is fantastic. Natural ingredients, mild formula, safely removes dander and pet odors, uh, natural antibacterial, et cetera, et cetera. I have not heard of this product before. Big A. Um, we have been using uh, just baby wipes, and we use the baby wipes that are the ones that are labeled as being, um, I, don't, I don't, actually, I don't remember how they're labeled, like natural or something. The ones that are just, they're almost entirely water, with just a couple little extra things added, and we look at the ingredients really carefully, and then uh, baby wipes are what we've, we've been using, but it's cool that they have ones that are made especially for pets. I'm excited to try these out. That's fantastic. Thank you so much, and of course, you sent us the uh, Pollock fish from Yao, which is a perfect toy for her. I know she loves catnip because I put the catnip um, Ohio toy that was a felted Ohio toy in with her, and the next morning it was shredded. I mean, literally destroyed. I had to throw it out. Um, and she was just having so much fun rolling around with it. So uh, I gave her a little bit of – I gave her one of the uh, Kitten Academy um, – logos from Dragon Maker, but I was trying to find a Yao catnip toy that I could give her, and I couldn't find any in our stash. So this is the perfect, perfect thing. I'm going to give it to her right away. In fact, that's why I'm putting it in our box of stuff that's going to go out with me, because we're going to, we're going to give that to her immediately. And uh, I'll have to set this over there, too, because actually, maybe it's time to start a second box until I get a bigger one, because um, this is going to have to go in our stuff, too. So uh, that's fantastic. Those are perfect gifts, Lisa G. Thank you so much. All right. This is Post Nord. And uh, i got to open this next because we're just going uh, sort of from side to side, I guess, on this mailbag. 
Of course, all the kids are off the tree now, and I'm behind on switching the camera back. Let me do that. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's as good a view as I'm going to get you for now. Um, all right. So here is a package that has come to us from very far away. And um, there's got to be a secret, easy way to open this, right? Uh, let's see. I think this side is the, the front side. Oh, there is a pull tab. All right, let's try that. Wow, oh, international extra large box. This must have cost a pretty penny just in the shipping. That is really nice of you to do. And oh, the note. All right. Wow. This has some already cool stuff in it. I'm excited. The note. Okay. Oh, this is going to be too much fun. Hello, Mr. A and DJ. There's been a while since my last letter, one and a half years. Wow, time do fly fast. That time I wrote you a private letter to say thank you because you'd helped me through a very difficult time and still do, by the way. I don't know if you remember. That time I also ate up all the candy I was planning on sending. I didn't want to ruin Mr. A's diet, but this time there's candy. I haven't heard of any diet, but if you're on one, I'm sorry in advance. I send you all of my favorites, both Swedish and non-Swedish. I promise you there's not much licorice with a winky face. <laughs> Something little for the tiny pants as well. I want to say thank you again for all that you do for the cats and all of us that are watching. You are truly uh, wonderful people. Even if I'm not on Discord yet and kind of a lurker watcher, I feel that you and all of us that are watching over the world are like a big family. We wish you the best from Frida and family from Sweden. I do remember you now, Frida, now that I read your name. Absolutely, I remember. That is fantastic. Thank you so much for sending this. And it's nice to uh, to, to have folks that, that I hear from sometimes that are such big fans um, that aren't on the chat yet. And I, I know that sounds like a weird thing to say. I wish that you would join us on the Discord chat because it's a wonderful place. And you wouldn't be the only Swedish person there uh, by a long shot. We've, we've got a, it seems like a, an unusual contingent of fans in Sweden, which is fantastic. Um, I really love it. And uh, this is stuff, even though people have sent us stuff from Sweden before, I don't immediately see anything in here that looks familiar. So that's going to be really fun. Um, Anyway, it's just, it's nice to hear from folks um, that are fans that, that, you know, I don't talk to every day. I think it reminds me that, yeah, that there are people out there that haven't joined us on the Discord yet, and those people are, are very special to us. Uh, you, you're all special to us, and sometimes I feel like maybe I lose track of that a little bit, and I don't mean to. Um, and I apologize for that, but Frida, thank you so much. So you sent some cool stuff. First off, you sent uh, cheese dreamies, which are one of Ari's favorite things. And uh, there is no uh, United States equivalent to that. So we always have to get them from our overseas fan. And that's that's wonderful. Um, don't everybody send them to us, though. We're, we're very sparing with the treats for Ari. So, uh, But I know he's going to love those. You also sent these best friend mousies. Uh, which are really cute. Uh, one of them is actually striped like a little tiger mouse, and the other ones have these green, and uh, they're almost like green and almost a pink color stripes on them. They are really cute, and it's it's cute how it's sort of a, a Swedish sensibility. Like, we've seen plenty of little tiny mouse toys, but none with these exact colors. Uh, and this sort of styling or the, the tiger thing, the whole thing is, you know, when you travel, and I haven't traveled a lot. I'm not an expert, but it seems like when you travel, it's the little differences that really stand out. You know, the fact that that you'd have these toys, and again, here's some, some balls. These are some, some heavy toy balls that you've sent. Uh, it's the choices on the colors and things that that really are what feels alien. Like all of a sudden, you realize you have a lot of the same stuff, but it's also different, and it, it's it really is what gives you that feeling of. Uh, it's it's that times a thousand, you know, what is happening to you from every direction when you are traveling. That's what, the, you know, that's what makes culture shock. That's that's the thing that makes you just feel like you're in an alien place all the time. It's what I love about traveling. I think it's fantastic. And it's what I love about getting things from other places is uh, just the, the little differences that make them uh, different. Uh, that sounds like a dumb thing to say. Uh, you know what I'm saying, though. 
So here we have some uh, Swedish Charlie balls also in red and green, very Christmassy. And then I think the rest of this is uh, Swedish treats. And uh, by the way, you mentioned about my diet. I am on a diet, but since I've moved out here, I've been so active, it's been highly successful. So I'm not begrudging myself some sweets here and there. So I'm, I'm looking forward to digging into this and it's, it's completely okay right now. Um, don't everybody send me sweets, it'll wreck it. Uh, but a little bit here and there, I feel like I can get away with right now. So I'm going to try to pronounce all these for the joy of everyone on stream and my humiliation. I can tell you right here is something called uh, Turkish pepper. Tur Turkish? I, I imagine this is Thai Turk. Turkish pepper. Tur you know what? I can try it a hundred ways. They'll all be wrong. Um, but I can see whatever it is, it looks like a dark licorice color and it's got flames all over. This one has three flames over here, I guess, to recognize the fact that it's very hot. It's got a flame here. There's a flame there. It is flaming in the picture. So I don't know what this is, but I'm going to guess it is a uh, Swedish licorice that is spicy. And that's a new one on me that I am really excited about. I also see here that um, in the... in ingredients oh i see there's translations here i was going to go i was going to go just on the swedish and the, the there's a finnish one that says the finnish the finnish name for this is uh, i'm going to wreck it again the finnish translation here is the first thing on top it says salmiaki piperak mal malaja pep salmiaki pep paprik mal malia you know what forget it the fact is, I'm lucky that I was going to guess that that means salmiaki with pepper, which is what I said, licorice candy, you know, that's hot. But there is a, also a GB translation down here for the English speakers, and it does say, in fact, pepper candies in uh, the English translation. And it does say that it includes the ammonium chloride, which is that salt that, that gives Swedish licorice its unique properties uh, and when I say unique, I do mean somewhat distasteful to people who aren't Swedish or Finnish. Um, but I'm, I'm so excited to try this because it also says on the back in English, vegan. And it also says too hot to handle, question uh, mark, which sounds like a challenge that I'm up for. Uh, so spicy uh, uh, licorice, spicy Swedish lic licorice is... Uh, that's a new twist on it that I am I'm really excited to try this one and to have DJ try it too. I'm, I'm super excited about it. Uh, that alone makes this whole thing worthwhile. That is going to be so fun, but that is not even remotely all that's in here. I hope you guys have settled in for a long uh, mailbag and a, a box that is going to be long. So here you have sent Tutti Fruity. I feel like I'm probably pronouncing that one correctly. It says passion, so it must be passion fruit flavors. And it is also uh, from Phaser or Fazer, which is the, the big candy brand out there. It also says on the back, hi, we're also vegan with a little candy with a face and everything on it telling me that, which is very cute. And it says, open, it's time to get fruity. Okay, I like that too. Plus, uh, it also tells me the flavors in English too. This is all very helpful, this one. There is a raspberry grapefruit flavor, a lemon vanilla flavor, a tutti frutti passion fruit flavor, and a cactus lime flavor. So that sounds like it's going to be very good. And they're, they're sort of gummy. They're, they're the firm kind of gummies, though. Very firm gummies. I'm excited. Very excited. This is going to be so great. Here we have another one that is tutti frutti rings. Same flavors, natural colors and gelatin free, and it says on the back of this one also, hi, we're also vegan. <laughs> so they're all gonna tell us, that's cute. The flavors are apple, strawberry, kiwi, melon, and salty licorice, all right. Well, that salt has gotta spill over into the other stuff in there. It's gotta give the whole bag an interesting flavor, right? I guess we'll find out the hard way. Uh, when I say hard way, I mean by eating it, so I guess that's not too hard, huh? Okay, uh, this I've been staring at. This better be, oh, it is, okay. I was hoping this wasn't a cat treat that looks fancy, and this is actually for humans because it's got me my mouth watering just looking at it. It appears to be a bag of cinnamon rolls. It says Giflar on the front. I assume I'm pronouncing Giflar correctly. I have no idea. 
And then the back, the advertisement is written in English, which makes it very simple for me, which I appreciate. It says, oh, so tasty. We know it's impossible to open a bag of Giflar and only take one. It's as if there's something magical that attracts you again and again. But there's no magic, just irresistibly tasty Giflar with delicious curly swirly fillings. Made to exactly, made, made to allow you to easily sneak another or share if there are any left. Well, that, that is a nice advertisement, but it really doesn't give me any idea what flavors to expect. I, if I bite into this and it is not a cinnamon and sweet, I am going to be uh, surprised, to say the least. Let's see if there's, an, if there's no English list of ingredients to give me clues. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just find out the hard way. Uh, I guess it'll be fun either way. But uh, I've been looking at that. That looks, that looks like something I got to eat for breakfast this morning. It really does. All right, here's a bag that says Fosfinsk Lakritz, um, I think, or Farsk. Is maybe that word's Farsk, Farsk, Finsk, Lakritz? You know what? I'm not even trying. Um, I know there's a lot of folks that would try to say it in a Swedish accent, but uh, I don't go there. So that's what you get. It just, it looks like a bag of uh, licorices to me, and I think it is. And they're so colorful. I love all the colors and shapes here. It's another example of, you know, you can get a bag of licorice here, but it's not going to look like that. Uh, fantastic. There's more. There's so much more in here. I, this is a great box. Thank you so much. Here is Marabu Schweizer Note. Schweizer not? I don't know. All I know is that on the front, it has a picture of chocolate with hazelnuts. Those are two of my favorite things when you put them together. You really can't go wrong. So uh, I'm excited about that as well. And uh, let's see. We've got Hallen Soda. Mm, okay, Hallen Soda. It says it has 30% Mendre Soaker. Uh, Mendre Soccer. Mendre Soccer. I'm going with that. Mendre Soccer. Allen Soda, 30% Mendry Soccer. Uh, it also says Nygardia Spendrup Svenska Smacker Eco. I have now read you the entire label, and I'm sure someone who is Swedish is laughing hysterically at this moment, I hope. There is nothing else on this in, uh, that gives me, there's nothing on this that gives me any, any clue whatsoever what it is. Um, I... I, this could taste like absolutely anything. It's pink. The, the liquid is pink. The cap is pink. The, the label is pink with green. The green looks like mint leaves to me, but I have no idea what the, the sort of minty leaves and pink together could possibly indicate. It's a, it's a mystery and will be a huge surprise. Um, yeah, I mean, it could be anything. That's, I, it's kind of fun that way, right? Frida, thank you. Oh, you sent another one. This one is Paron Soda, which is also 30% Mendry Soccer and Nygardia Svenska Smacker Eco. So this one is white. Um, still just a mystery. Could be absolutely anything in there. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, here you have sent sour cream and onion chips. Now, uh, Sour cream and onion is, uh, is a flavor that I think I love. Uh, we do similar flavors here for our chips, but I bet it's going to be different too, and I'm, I'm excited to try that. I'm a big fan of flavored chips in general. I like chips. Uh, DJ is a crazy chips or crisps eater. If you're, uh, if you're English, you call it crisps. And in fact, DJ and I have been calling them crisps because it's fun to say. That uh, crisps part, the part is it's tricky, you know, the crisps. It's fun. Anyway, so we call them crisps now because it's British and it's fun. Um, and she she just has, she buys plain ones and then she puts her mom's homemade chili powder on them. And uh, they're very, very spicy that way. So she, she does that all the time. And I will probably be the one eating these because they have flavor already. And you've sent another bag too. This one just says grilled chips. And there's a picture of a grilled onion uh, next to the chips. I have no idea if that means that they are uh, grilled onion flavor, or if grilled chips would imply like a barbecue chip here in the States, or if it's something else entirely, I don't know. 
I do know on the back of both of these, they have pictures of salt, sunflowers, and potatoes. So I'm guessing that they are potatoes that are fried in sunflower oil which is also a, a good choice overall. Finally, you have sent us contraband. I saved it for last because uh, I'm hoping by now the cops have tuned out and aren't watching and won't come over here and arrest me for having three, a package of three Kinder Surprise Eggs. Uh, and it looks like they are the Secret Life of Pets 2 Kinder Surprise Eggs. So they will have toys from the Secret Life of Pets 2 in them. And uh, these are contraband in the United States. Um, you're not allowed to even bring them through um, customs, theoretically. I know, it's not a big deal anyway. It's just some crazy law we've got about not having food that has other things that are inedible inside it. Even though there's no way you could eat what's inside a Kinder egg. They put it inside a plastic egg. Like if you could accidentally swallow that, you'd have, I don't know, it's, it's a, you would take a giant mouth to eat one of them whole. Um, nonetheless, uh, something that we can't get in the United States because our laws prevent it, because I suppose if these were widespread in the United States, we all would have choked to death by now. Uh, just the way we are here, that's, uh, that's Americans for you. Anyway, uh, Frida, this is an amazing box. I can see why you ate all of the candy you wanted to send last time, because it all looks spectacular, and I'm excited to try every, every part of it. Thank you so much. Wow. I'm super excited about all of it. I, I, would, I would try some right now, but this mailbag is already going to run long enough. Uh, I wonder if I can hang out and uh, try some of it with DJ during our Christmas stream tonight, or if she's got too much planned for that. I don't know. Um, but I'm, I'm super excited about it. So I'm going to take all that stuff and put it in this box for us, except for your chip bags. Wow, there's just there's too much of this stuff now. I'll put this in with the endowments, I guess. And uh, actually, I, well, I do want to see these things flying around the room, though. So I'm going to take your mice and put those out. And uh, I'm gonna actually, what I'm going to do, I hope you don't mind, I'm going to put two of these mice out for these guys to play with. I'm going to take this one and give it to the faculty, actually, and see what they do with it. So I'll just I'll put that in the box for us for now. I see I just got a message from DJ that says she just finished her shift and is on the way home. So we're probably going to finish all of this. Uh, before she gets home, uh, but not by much, not by much, I'm guessing. All right, um, let's see here. These uh, these international shipping boxes get pretty flimsy, so I'm not going to try to store anything in it. Plus, they're, they're weird the way that they open. Uh, not good for, for reusing overall. Uh, Frida, one more time. Thank you so much. That is an amazing package full of stuff. I am just, I'm excited about every single one of those things. So excited. That's, uh, that's really, really fun. And now my stomach's growling because I just looked at all that candy. Oh my goodness. I don't know. We're going to keep going. Like I said, I want to get through all this. I don't want to have to put anybody off until next week. Uh, well, here we have another thing that has been through customs from a Yvonne. And it says, open this way up. So uh, we will do that. And it looks like this is from Great Britain somewhere, I think. Is that, is that what that means? No, it's not. It looks like it's from... Uh, I don't see a, the return address. I should just peek. It is, yes, yeah, Scotland. Okay. It is from Scotland. Boy, I should mention about um, Scotland. Uh, we had two Scottish visitors. Two Scotch? Scotch visitors? I don't know. Uh, to KA Con, and they both came to visit our house, and they left us some uh, Scottish treats, including a tin of Scottish vanilla fudge, and the tin has cats on it. And I know if you just look for Scottish vanilla fudge cat tin online, you will find the exact same one I'm talking about. And I know you will because DJ loved it. I mean, she was crazy for this Scottish vanilla fudge. Uh, she doesn't usually get too much into candy. She ate the whole 10. I didn't get any of them. Um, so I looked on Amazon, has them at a reasonable price, and I got her another one for her night shift. Um, so that was really cool. Anyway, uh, that's off the topic. This <laughs> has some disco cats with disco hair and disco makeup. I think they're actually uh, supposed to be disco drag uh, cats, maybe. I don't know, the makeup's extreme. It says, take it to the max. 
And on the back, it does just say cats of 1986, actually. So I guess that's just 1986 uh, makeup, which makes more sense. It does. I remember it in 1986 vaguely, and it looks about right. It says, hope this finds you well. Gift for Mr. A, DJ, and all the kitty cats. Bless the work you do day in and day out with love, Yvonne. It says Scottish Borders, Scotland, UK. That's fantastic. And uh, I want to, I'm just stopping long enough. I want to flip this camera so that it's pointed at the cats who have all gotten worn out. I know how they feel right now, but I am going to power through with all of you. Although all of you are welcome to take a break at any time, like I said, and uh, come back and watch the rest later. You don't have to do it in real time. I do until we invent time travel. I got to power through. Um, but you can take a break, get a coffee, come back, rewind. It's fine. It's fine. Nobody will know. All right, Yvonne, what have you sent? Oh, my gosh. These, this mailbag is full of stuff uh, that seems to be a lot of stuff for me and DJ. Uh, this says, use as you see best. Uh, it actually says, use as you seek best. I don't know if that's a, a Scottishism. Could be. I love this tissue paper with the little kitties on it. This is so cute. Oh, wow. Okay. Here we have Little Toy Mice, Cat Toys, Multi-Pack, Six Mini Mice, Cat, Bat, and Pounce in uh, white and gray. These are very popular mice around, by the way. I haven't seen ones exactly like this. They got a little bit of that Scottish touch to them, which which makes sense. Like I was talking about, that's that's what makes the difference in stuff that comes from other places. Like it's just the little changes that, that get you. And the fur on these looks a little different, and their styling around their face is a little different, too. Um, these are going to make excellent, excellent endowments, I think. Uh, I'm just going to set them right in there, right? Meow. Uh, okay, this is, would be lovely to enjoy watching kitties play with this, but again, as you feel, well, if you want to watch kitties play with it, how could we say no? We will have to distribute this someplace where it will get seen, won't we? Oh, what is it? This is, by the way, is another fantastic cat print tissue paper with these the, the leopard on it. That is fantastic. And peacock feathers. What a beautiful, beautiful tissue. Oh, what is this thing? It's uh, things. Plural. We have a Kong Connects. Oh, I see. This is a cat toy that's made to stick into any cat scratcher and we have we have stuff like this infinity scratcher that's in here all the time i've never heard of this but what a brilliant idea this is such a cool idea i want to see the cats play with it i want to see it right now uh, i can tell they're not in a playing mode but this this is clever in a way i have never seen um i gotta i gotta do this right meow if I can get it off of the packaging without breaking it. Okay, so it's just, it's a simple little spring toy, um, but it's got these prongs on the bottom that are made to slip into a cardboard cat scratcher. And it says right on, it works with any cat scratcher. If this actually does work out, this could be the kind of thing that we want to bring around on a regular basis to sort of refresh our cat scratchers, right? This could make them all new for the cats again. And we've got the infinity one and the triangle one both in here right now. And I can even stick it on the top of the haunted house if I wanted. And in this whole tower, I like these things. This is this is a perfect idea if it works. We'll find out. I'm going to put it in the infinity scratcher right now since that's front and center. And you guys will be able to keep an eye on it. Let's just see. Oh, that does stick in there pretty well. That feels solid. All right. Well, now, I know they're all napping right now, but uh, we'll let it go and we'll see how that works out. What a cool idea that is. That is, I wonder if they sell those in the States, because I could, I could see us going through a lot of those. Uh, also, you have a Cat Toys Crazy Bug, and it says, uh, vibrates, resembles natural prey. Oh, I see. This is, uh, this is like that mouse that we had in the, uh, in, in the living room for a while that the cats were having so much fun with. It is basically an oversized hex bug um, with a little bit of a ladybug styling on it. And it does, it does turn on, but again, they're all sleepy right now. But this is a great idea to have something to keep around. I think what I'll do 
because the, the living room has a lot more sections of hardwood floor and these things really get moving on the hardwood floors. Uh, I will set it aside and next time we let them out to run around, uh, I will try to, to give it to them. Or maybe if not the next time, then shortly thereafter, I'll stick that right in the box of stuff that I am going to either use or deploy. Thank you so much. All right. There's more. There's so much more. This mailbag, I'm so sorry about the mailbag taking so long. Um, but it is what it is. Oh, these are cute. These are floral mini mice. Uh, they each have a little bit of a floral print on them. And it says contains catnip. Um, but they're, they're really cool. This one actually has a herringbone pattern. And then the floral is in its little ears and its eyes. It's got a floral pattern. This one is like a sheep's wool that also has floral eyes and ears. And then this one has the floral body with the herringbone pattern in the ears and eyes. So it's sort of like these two are the reverse of each other. And then this one, we've got the, the lamb's wool. Those are really, really cool. Those, those just look so fun. I love the patterns on these. Uh, yet another example of what I'm talking about. There's the little differences. That's, that's awesome. The cats are gonna love those. Uh, oh, there's a note on this one. The note says, would be nice to keep in Kitten Academy, but as you feel best for the heart, Yvonne, thank you. You're so accommodating. We want to do what you want us to do. So you want to keep these in the Academy, we will. And they're crazy. Look at that. They are radioactive splatter bugs. Cat toy radioactive splatter bugs uh, with organic catnip. And they're, uh, it says made with non-toxic materials, but then there's a picture right on the back of like a chemistry lab that's exploding with chemicals. That's, uh, that's interesting. Oh, and on the back, it says in a dark corner of Bob's science lab, with one calculated swat, Fluffy knocked the curiously glowing beaker of green liquid off the table. In what seemed like slow-mo, it crashed magnificently on the dank and sticky floor. You see, Bob liked his bananas well working, and he was in the habit of leaving half-eaten ones about. Well, that's interesting, because I have long said that cats love bananas. As fate would have it, a small cluster of oblivious fruit flies were milling about directly under the toxic spill. A confusion of smoke, a big bang, and a boom filled the room. Meet our superbugs, Blasto, Zinger, and Fraz. Your kitty will relish swatting, squishing, and tossing these freakish fruities. Our secret ingredient, the best organic catnip in the whole world. These are cute. I love their crazy faces, too. That's going to be fun to have around. And we will keep these around the Academy. I'll put it again in the box of stuff that is for us. And uh, we'll distribute those probably among the faculty then. Thank you so much, Yvonne. This is uh, this is some cool stuff. There's a little more in here. I'm not done yet. We're getting through. It says, here's another one. Look, this is cool, too. Wow, you've got some really cool uh, tissue paper there. It says, Mr. A and DJ, it says some Scottish treats. I see the whole world is working together to ruin the great success that I've had so far in my diet since moving to Connecticut. Oh, no. I'm going to have to stay extra busy, too, because I see this contains my weakness. Uh, so, oh, and DJs. Wow, this is a twofer. Here we have, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, tunics, tunics, tea cakes, the tea cakes. Uh, there were a whole bunch of these that were left by our Scottish friends that came to K.A. Khan, and I ate them all because they're fantastic. I am a big fan of these tea cakes now. They're, they're very similar to the pinwheel cookies that you can get here in the States. I've said that before, but they're a lot more uh, delicate than the pinwheel cakes uh, cookies. The pinwheel cookies also are, they're bigger, they're uh, a little firmer in every sense. Um, but uh, same idea, though. If, you can, if you're uh, American, you want to know what a tea cake is like, uh, you won't go too far wrong by trying the pinwheel cookies. And... Uh, we also have caramel wafer biscuits, which is, I don't know if we've had these exact things, but I know this is a twofer for DJ, who is a big fan of wafer cookies and a huge fan of caramel. So she is probably going to just steal these from me and take them and, and hide them away and I'll never see them again. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Wow. Those are going to be great. And wow, I have a lot of candy to wreck my diet. It's a good thing I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm uh, ahead right now. Okay, 
Mr. A and DJ handmade down the road from where I work. Oh, now this sounds too special. Let's see what it is. It's a very tiny little box too. Oh, wow. This looks super fancy. It, there's a, it says Scaramanda Scotland with an interesting little logo. I hope I'm saying that right, Scaramanda. I'm sure I'm not saying it the way a Scottish person would. Why do you have to say Scottish and you can't just say Scotch? Is it because of the alcohol? But isn't the alcohol named Scotch because it's Scotch? You know, it's Scottish? I don't, I don't know the answers to these. I feel like the two words Scotch and Scottish should be interchangeable unless you're talking about alcohol, in which case, obviously, you say Scotch or you just say whiskey. I don't, I don't know, folks. I have no idea. It says Scaramanda, handmade in Scotland, and it is a little beautiful cat pin. It is, it is really pretty. I love this blue, uh, sort of a, what do you call that, that pottery raku that's got the, the sort of opalescent colors. I don't think it is raku, but it looks that way with the blue and the silver and the sort of pattern on it. And it's a little happy cat with, with wide open eyes, kind of reminds me of like a blue Ari. I don't know how well you can see it because it's tiny, which is perfect. DJ will love it. DJ has a big pin collection going that's almost entirely stuff that uh, people have sent us through KA. They're all little cat pins. We've got funny ones, and we've got beautiful ones like that. And uh, she wears them on her, her uh, coat when she goes to work. So that's, uh, that's really fun, and I'm sure that will get added to the collection. That is a, a wonderful choice. And how... It's so special for us to get something that is that is handmade locally to you. Uh, that is really, really sweet of you. There's two more items in here. Uh, oh, is there, is there another note? Did I get confused about notes? What, what is this? It says, happy to be read out loud. Okay, we've got a beautiful picture of a cat here. Oh, wow. It says, uh, this is, oh, this is so cool. I interrupted myself from opening this stuff when I saw the note. So, to Mr. A, DJ, and all the kitties, kind regards from Scotland, UK. Please keep up the amazing work you're both doing for all the kitties. I've had a difficult time with PTSD and anxiety, but being able to relax to the live stream has helped me to relax and feel happier. My amazing kitties, Patty and Roxy, are my world and will cuddle for hours while I watch your channel and catch up with the kitties just Thank you, Yvonne. Uh, and I hope I'm saying that more or less the way that you would say it, Yvonne. Uh, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. And I, I just, I love hearing from folks that we've been able to help because, you know, obviously we set out with the goal of getting kittens adopted, but uh, being able to help people too, it just, it makes it that much better. And here you've sent a picture of Mr. Patrick, a.k.a. Patty, and Ms. Roxana Stardust, a.k.a. Roxy. They are beautiful, beautiful cats, and that's a great photo, too. And I believe uh, you've included a packet here that says 2019, and it's tied up in this beautiful ribbon. And it looks like it must be further pictures of, yes, Patty and Roxy. And uh, Patty is your big orange cat, and Roxy is your tiny little tabby. I say tabby, but it looks like it's got uh, spots, like a... Uh, it's very fancy. Oh, and here's one with you, Roxy. And me the day she came home, 2016. Roxy's so pretty. She does have big old spots like a Bengal. Beautiful. Roxy, 2018. Patty, winter 2018. Look at that, out in the snow, looking like a fierce animal. Patty, 2019. Oh, okay. 2017, trying to get my pen. So cute. 2019, wait, watching me eat ice cream. They both look very focused. Uh, new toy, Christmas 2018. Oh, it's a, one of those feathers on a, on a string. Those are great toys, too. Uh, Christmas 2018, in, in, in a bag, I can see. Beautiful eyes. Wow, such beautiful cats you've got. October 2019, looking after me. Summer 2019, look at that. Beautiful in the sunlight. Also gorgeous eyes. Summer 2019. Oh, on a donut. The donut pillow. Uh, 
the donut pillow, Roxy donut pillow, I should say. And then October 2019, looking after me. Wow, beautiful cat. Uh, 2019, I'm so blessed. So sweet. I think that's all of them. Those are great. Especially Roxy. Wow, what a stunner. That's fantastic. Devon, thank you so much for sending all of this. And uh, like I said, there's a couple more items here. I just, I missed the card there until the, almost the last minute. I was just opening the box from the wrong uh, side, I guess. So here you've included what appears to be a bunch of cat food. It says, this was sent wrongly by Pet Supplier, but they didn't want it back. Might be of use. Well, I know we'll find a way to use it. And it is uh, Applause brand. That's a cute pun name. Uh, because it's spelled sort of like pause, applause, and uh, it, is, it is a cat food. Um, that's really all it says, natural cat food, applause. Perfect. Well, we will uh, also use that. We keep, um, we keep a variety of like foods that we don't usually feed, and uh, we use them that way when we get a picky cat, we can try a whole bunch of different stuff on them, so it might be good for that. It might be fun just to feed for the faculty for a snack. You never know. Uh, all right, one last item. It is a pen with a cat on it that is super cute. I think it's a pen. Is it a clicker pen? Oh, it is. You click the cat head. That's cute. Thank you so much. Wow, you sent some great stuff, Yvonne. I'm very excited about all of it. Uh, we're going to have some fun uh, distributing that stuff around. And uh, those tea cakes are not long for this world, let me tell you. Oof. Uh, thanks you. Thank you, though. I, I really do. Thank you for that. I'm excited. I don't. I haven't looked to see if I can get the tea cakes in the states because they're just for me. It's not a DJ thing, and uh, I will eat them. And I don't need that. So, so I'm not going to get my own. Uh, but uh, and I don't know if they're available here. But I appreciate you sending some so I can have that because they are wonderful. Wow. Here we have some vacuum sealed fish. Uh, and that's that's really all I can tell about it because, oh, there is a note. I'm sorry, I was gonna say there's no note, but it, there was a note at the bottom. It says, hi, Mr. A, DJ, and Kitten Academy. Saw these cat and fish toys and thought your babies would have lots of fun with them. Love watching the vids from the Bronx feline crew, Dana, Francine, G Gigi? Gigi? Gigi. That's got to be Gigi. Dana, Francine, Gigi, Blue, and Daniel. Look at that. We don't have the only cat named Blue. Uh, that's an interesting uh, fact. And they are two packages of what appear to be six catnip fish. And they are uh, vacuum sealed in these vacuum sealed bags. So I'm not going to open them yet. Um, but I can see that they're those like 3D printed realistic looking fish. And uh, I'm excited to see what our cats will think of them. So, or the, or, you know, how they go. I think, I think we'll probably end up using these for our cats. I don't have a place to put these things for maybe our cats. Uh, do I? Hmm. Well, I'll just, I'll set them aside for now and we'll figure it out. Okay. All right. Thank you so much to the Bronx crew. That's nice. You guys are way closer to us now than you used to be. I still have not seen New York City in person. Um, it's something I keep saying, I'm putting it off until I can take the time to truly appreciate it. I don't think I'm ready yet. We'll see. Oh, I know what these are. We got a box full of flat mice. Flat mice are always a hit for some reason. I don't even understand why. They don't crinkle, they don't have catnip. Uh, there's just nothing to them except they're flat mice and cats go crazy for them. And these are from GA Girl. GA Girl, thank you. It just says, uh, oh, here we go. Enjoy your gift. There's one mouse each for Taylor, Knickerbocker, Kulot, and Blue Jean for their endowments from GA Girl. Well, thank you, GA Girl. Um, I need to set aside the stuff that is specifically endowment material for Tiny Pants. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'm going to write tiny pants on this box and then we'll figure it out. They're going to love these. There's one of these kicking around the academy. We take it easy on distributing these in the academy because uh, they just 
they're too valuable for them, I think. Um, but there is one hanging around the academy, and they found it while they were out the other day, and I think they brought it in here. But at any rate, they, I know they love them because they found it, and they were playing with it and having a good time. Wow, 11.41. We still got all these boxes to get through. Uh, I'm going to do it, though. We're just going to we're gonna keep, keep rolling. Just keep rolling, all right? We got this. We can do it. We can do it. Just too much good stuff all in one mailbag, you know? We'll find a way. Ah, here we go. This is the rest of the food from Zenathon. I think I can just uh, roll right past it. It does say wet and dry food for new members of KA Zenathon. I talked about this enough at the top of the show that uh, let's just let's keep moving. Zenathon, thank you again. Super awesome of you to do that for us. And you were a real lifesaver this week because it meant I didn't have to drive out to the store one day uh, to get one day's coverage. So thank you so much for that. Oh, this is the cool bed. Yes. Uh, we saw some one of the, the uh, alumni have this same bed, I think. I can't remember who it was, but I saw the picture on the alumni channel on our Discord chat. Um, there's... There's a couple of pieces of paper in here, but none of them is the note. So I don't know much about who sent it yet, but it is a donut-shaped bed. Uh, I'm sorry, it's a donut-shaped tunnel. So there's a tunnel, and in the middle of the donut-shaped tunnel, there is a bed, uh, which is really a cool thing. Oh, here we go. Here we go. There is a note. It was just hidden under the flap. I always check under the flap. It says, Hi, Mr. A and DJ. We think the Tiny Pants will enjoy this new place to hide that is not behind the beanbag. At least we hope so. We love you from Basil and Tarragon. Well, thank you so much. Uh, they obviously have outgrown their uh, tendency to hide behind the beanbag chair. We might still try this out for them. Uh, we'll see. I'm going to write tiny pants on it so that one way or another it goes to them even if it means being an endowment or getting deployed out in the big playroom. Uh, I haven't actually seen one of these opened up yet, um, but we did have one that was sent before. Well, I saw your pictures, so I guess that counts. And it looks big. It looks big enough for, for full-sized cats, which is what surprised me. So normally, you see something that's this cool. It's not only donut-shaped. It's got a little cat motif, and it's got the bed in the middle. Normally you see something this cool and you think, oh, you know, they made it small so it only fits tiny kittens. But no, this, this, this is big enough to fit real cats. And uh, I am kind of excited to deploy one and, uh, and see how it goes. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see how we can fit it somewhere. This room, getting so much stuff for these guys, this room is a little full. So uh, we'll have to see what we can do. My legs are, uh, man, I've been sitting cross-legged for a while, you know, and it, at my age, uh, it gets to me. So, um, all right. I don't know what this is, but I do know it says fragile with an exclamation mark. And uh, that's really all I know. Interesting. So uh, fragile exclamation mark. Okay. And also it's internationally shipped, I guess. It made it all the way to us. Where, is it, where did it come from? It came from China. It came all the way to us from China with the fragile thing, and they didn't break it, as far as I can tell from the outside. That, by itself, is some kind of a miracle, uh, considering, you know, that thing that was shipped locally and said, do not bend. And I, by locally, I mean, you know, from Illinois, uh, was bent in half. So that anything that says fragile can make it all the way here and not appear to be crushed. Uh, from China is uh, that's extraordinary. Let's see what we got. What is it? Oh my gosh! Wow. Uh, this is. Let's see. It says. Hang on. So I don't know how well you can see this. This is a beautiful uh, painting. Uh, I gotta open this up so I get the bubble wrap off so you can really see it. Okay, maybe I can do it. Wow. I'm having some issues here though. They do not make this easy. 
I guess they really wanted to make sure it got to us all the way from China in one piece. It's good. Oh, look at that. That is really, really cool. It is uh, one of the photographs that I took of Flip, I want to say. It looks like Flip, except it's not. You guys might have some trouble telling this on the stream, um, but it's not the photograph. It's not just a printed photograph. This is painted, and it's got amazing detail for being painted. Uh, there's all these fine little hairs, and the eyes, obviously, they've even put a little uh, light in the eye there, so it just it looks... It looks like it could be a photograph, but it isn't. That is that is spectacular. Um, I I have no idea how to describe this. Um, it says here, turn your photo into an artwork from uh, portraitflip at gmail.com. It says email a picture to portraitflip at gmail.com. Uh, starts at $50 is, is what it says, and that's really all the information that they've given me here. I, I don't know who sent this. Um, I just know this is gorgeous. I mean, this is really, really nice. Huh. Um, it says, uh, starts at $50, 100% handmade. Turn your photo into artwork. You can get an oil painting or a pencil, pencil sketch. It doesn't say anything about a website. All it says is email the picture to portraitflip at gmail.com. Uh, wow. Uh, email the picture, painting starts, preview the painting, framed and delivered. Well, that is, that is something. Uh, hang on, let me just see if anybody's taking credit for this on the chat, if anybody's still watching because been uh, hmm. let's see here yeah so somebody took a screenshot of the screen and posted it on there in the in the screenshot it looks like a photograph it is not a photograph uh, I do see that apparently their website is portraitflip.com which makes a lot more sense portraitflip.com and Lisa says that portraitflip.com sent it to us so that we would talk about it. Well, there we are. We're talking about it. Uh, portraitflip.com. I'm a little sorry that these guys got uh, just stuck in the middle of a marathon mailbag when they obviously sent this to us for some free advertising. So uh, full disclaimer there. Um, but I would endorse this product because this is an amazing painting. It's, it's really, really beautiful. Now, obviously, you'd still have to have it framed. They say framed and delivered, but this is just a canvas. And if I were going to hang this, and I will, I'd probably want to get it framed on top of just being a canvas. Although, I don't know. I've seen DJ doing this thing where she just hangs up the canvas. Uh, she's done that with stuff in the past, so maybe it would work out. I don't know. Anyway, I also see people saying, yes, they're still watching. Well, thanks for hanging in there. I mean, it's a long one. Um, definitely feel free to take a break, okay? Um, that is that is spectacular from portraitflip.com, uh, and that may be why I said flip because that's not flip. That's um, that's um, oh gosh, I'm telling you, I'm having an off day, and I've, I've been going marathon here. Uh, you guys know who that is, yeah. We're, we're just gonna go with that. Um, okay, I need coffee. I need a lot more coffee this morning. Mm. Heck of a day for a marathon mailbag, isn't it? All right. Well, we're getting there. We've got four boxes left, so we're going to make it. We're going to do this. We're going to make it through. We might even make it by noon, if not just a tiny bit over. I hope you guys uh, really are settled in. Here we have SWAK, which normally would mean sealed with a kiss, but this says sealed with a kitty, and it is. We also have some bouncing springy cats on the front. Um... Wow, I want to make sure Portrait Flip gets what they paid for. Uh, so I gotta, I gotta make sure that we mention them again uh, in like a close up or something. Maybe I'll get a chance to show that off because uh, that's that's beautiful. It's really gorgeous. I wouldn't just say that either. I, I think you guys can appreciate that it, it looks good, but it's hard to tell how great the painting is because it just looks like a photograph. 
on the on the screen anyway. Uh, okay, it doesn't in person. You can see the brush strokes and everything. It's, uh, it's fantastic. Anyway, all right, well, moving on. Okay to read online. Another kitty sticker there. That's fantastic. And this is a beautiful painting of a cat laying in bed looking at a picture book with its kitten uh, stood up on top of it, uh, looking over its shoulder, basically. So cute. I just That's a great art. And inside it says, Mr. A and DJ, wow, one CT class already grown and gone, except for Twist, who is now grown and gone, and two more classes well on their way. They're all growing so fast. Enclosed our toys for the current classes endowments. Thanks for doing all you do for these wonderful kitties, Lisa G. Oh, Lisa G, thank you. These are so cool. Laser pointers are so cool, and I love that uh, you you just you did this for the last class too. I love that you sent them uh, with little pictures of each of them on the laser pointer with their names, so we know which one is for who. So this one is for Pebble, and this one is for Kulat. And this one is for Brooke. And there's more, of course. We have one for Nick. We have one for Taylor. And we have one for Blue Jean. That is perfect. That is just perfect. I know laser pointers are always a big hit. And uh, laser pointers are one of those things where, uh, typically speaking, People get to try that out with their cat for the first time. You know, there's so many things that we spoil the first here at Kitten Academy because we are the first one to give them a mouse toy. We're the first one to give them a ball track. You know, we're usually the first ones to give them the uh, access to the ripple rug. Uh, you know, so there's so many things that we do here that we get to introduce the cat to for the first time, but we don't typically do the laser pointers so that's fun. That's a that's a fun thing for them to get to do. And it's not it's not that we don't believe in laser pointers. It's not like we have some objection to laser pointers. I think they're really fun, actually, and I think a lot of cats really like them a lot. Uh, we just never seem to have one around uh, when we would use it. And besides that, we've got so many feather toys and sticks and stuff. It's it's fun this way. You guys get to try it out yourselves for the first time and see how they like it. So. Uh, Lisa G, thank you. That is a great idea, and I just need to write endowment on it. Uh, Tiny Pants and Brooke. Brooke is uh, also the first cat not to have like a class name. I guess because there's only the two of them, DJ didn't feel like it was required to come up with a clever class name, right? It's an interesting first. Okay, here we have another priority mail. A little sad not to see Spider-Man on this box. It's fine, you know, can't be everywhere. Oh, and this is from Neko-chan, or Neko-chan. Ne it's pronounced Neko, right? Neko? Neko-chan? Oh, wow, this is all wrapped up. And this is, tis the season. It says, I love Christmas too. Oh, oh look at that. This is so cute. <laughs> That's really cute. Not only that, it's got an actual bow tie on it. The, uh, there's a cute card for you to keep and a beautiful accessory for your kitty. Simply slide onto the cat collar. So it's a bow tie that's made to go on a cat collar. And, you know, Acro is the only one of our cats that is regularly wearing a, a collar. And his has a bow on it now. I think we should replace his regular bow with his Christmas bow. I think it's a great idea. It says... Mr. A and DJ, happy Christmas tree decorating day. So it is. Thanks for letting us join in on the fun. Thought I'd send a little something for you, DJ and Acro, to be adorned while you adorn the tree. Love, Nico-chan. Uh, Neko-chan. Uh, you know, one way is right, one way is wrong. I'll say them both. Bow tie on the front of the card for Acro. Well, I guess I figured that out, but it is perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, Acro will love his little bow tie upgrade. Uh, it's got little holly leaves on it. I think that's what that is. It's beautiful. Perfect for Acro. Plus, you've got two packages here. This one says Mr. A, and look at that. It's all wrapped up like Christmas with a bow. Aw, that is so cute. I'm going to open it, of course. I'm not waiting for Christmas. Maybe I should have. 
I don't know. If I was supposed to, you should have told me to wait. It's too late now. Oh, look at that. Wow. Those are some giant thermal knit slipper socks. Yes, they are giant. They're more like slippers than socks, and they've even got little rubber on the bottom so that I don't slide all over the floor like risky business. Uh, that is awesome. I'm excited about these. They look great, and they look really, really comfy. Oh, they're so soft inside. They got like this fur. That's fun. I'm going to wear those. They will be, and then I'm going to wear them, and everybody's going to be like, why are you wearing matching socks? Uh, but it will be because they're too great. Uh, okay, for DJ, and uh, I'll just have to get this to DJ later, of course. Oh, it's a t-shirt. <gasps> it says Hallmark Channel on it already. I can tell this is going to be very DJ. It says, this is my Hallmark movie watching t-shirt. Oh, it's perfect. That's a nice t-shirt, too. It's nice and light, and uh, it feels like exactly something DJ will wear all the time. And, yes, uh, this is obviously you know that uh, that is DJ's um, not even guilty pleasure. It's just, it's just what she does. She is crazy about watching all of those Hallmark movies. She watches them actually year-round um, and uh, over and over and over, too. She can watch the same one at hundred times I swear and she just loves it every time uh, this is this is wonderful Nico Chan thank you so much for sending these things for the three of us me and DJ and Acro um, I'm gonna put them over here in, in the overflowing box now of stuff that I have to deal with uh, for us say so have to deal with I mean you know like put away in the right spot or remember to bring out tonight or whatever and uh, I don't I don't know what's up with this, but this pine-colored um, tissue paper, it smells like a pine tree. That can't be an accident. It is a very strong pine tree scent. That's, uh, that's really something else. Wow. How cool. That's very Christmassy. What a, it's a very Christmassy scent. Like, already, I feel like all Christmassy now. It's fantastic. Thank you so much. All right. Um... Yes. All right. Two more boxes. We're almost there, folks. We've made it. If you are still with me, you have almost made it. Uh, nice work. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, those Hallmark movies, uh, there's only one that I recognize. Like, you know, when she turns them on, and if you watch the Hallmark movies, you know that they all have the same actors in them. Like, these actors, just they belong to Hallmark, and they are in all of the Hallmark movies. So when I am there, I'm usually doing something else, like playing a video game or something. But DJ insists that I do that with her. So we hang out. We each do our own thing. She watches the movies, and I play my video games or just, you know, hang out online or whatever it is I'm doing. Uh, so I can't I can't generally tell one from the other, but there's the one I don't know the title of that is about a fireman, and it's about the fact that he finds this cat named Ambrose, and the cats are like really it's called like the Nine Lives of Christmas or something that's a cat thing, and it's great it's a great one because it's got the cats in it the cats are kind of a feature of it and they're wonderful cute cats it's a great show. And the best thing about it is there's not any part of the show where you are the slightest bit worried about the cat, you know? Like, that's – DJ, generally, if she's watching a show and there's a cat in it, we turn it off immediately. Just We just turn it off immediately because you know 99% of the time if there's a cat or a dog in a show, it's there to get in trouble, and you don't want to see that, you know? Um, but this one was, it was a great one. Right? And so it's one that we watch all the time. It's the only one that I recognize and like know the plot of and the whole thing because I've seen it a million times and because I can't help but watch some. Anyway, that's all off the topic. Yes, DJ's a big fan of the Hallmark movie. She's going to love that shirt. It's fantastic. So here we go. The kitten. Oh, the kitten. It says, I've gone back to the smaller box, but that doesn't mean less stuff. Something for Mr. A and DJ is inside. The container contents are from a brand new box, was just putting them out. I don't like buying from bulk containers, but this one was just put out and a fresh scoop put out with it. They are two of DJ's favorites. This is a very mysterious letter. It says, Mr. A, please use the container as you see fit or 
If you wish for the demo of the enrichment boxes, the toys are for the rooms or as you see fit too from the underscore kitten. The underscore kitten, thank you so much. Um, okay, so you've included a lot of your regular things. These are regular things from you that we don't get from anybody else that are all wonderful cat toys. I mean, these are really, really good stuff. Uh, these things are like party poppers with feathers. They're crinkly. They've got a bell. They've got feathers. Like these are a huge hit. Uh, these are the wicker balls with the feathers and the bell in them. Also a giant, giant hit. There's always a couple of these things uh, flopping around the academy. The cats just love these. These things are wonderful toys. And you've sent a ton of both of those. Uh, you've also got these things. I don't know what you call them. Oh, these are fancier than usual. They've got a little rattle ball that is in a tube that goes all the way around that big ball. It's crazy that way. Normally it's just the ball and the feather, but these ones have little dangly Charlie balls also. That's super fancy. Those are, wow, those are really, really cool. Um, and you've sent uh, just a pile of each of those things. Uh, then we get into some of the more standard traditional things. You've sent the Mylar balls, but these are the large size. So those are the Mylar crinkle balls very big um, and then more of each of these things that I'm even pulling out here you sent uh, balls with jinglies in them these are a big big hit for the kitten in fact there's one right there it's right next to the camera and every time I see them playing with it I'm like you are killing somebody out there with all that noise right next to the camera microphone um, those are great though and the cats love them kittens go crazy for these things um, although I find that all of these plastic balls with the bells in them Again, huge hit with the cats, but they are the ones that I inevitably step on. And you step on them once and they're done. You know, they just shatter into a million pieces. So they don't necessarily last long around here, um, but they are a big hit while they last. Very cool. Uh, you've also have sent bags of Temptations, which are wonderful for endowments. And uh, you've sent, again, uh, more of each of these things that I'm showing. You've sent a whole bunch of loose Charlie balls. You've sent a whole bunch of little loose mice. It is fantastic. It's, a, it's incredible. Um, and there's a whole, like I said, a whole bunch of each of these things still in the box that I'm not even pulling out. You've packed it full. Wow. Here you have sent candied bacon jerky. It is the best jerky excuse me, the best jerky you'll ever eat, candied bacon jerky, the perfect marriage of salty and sweet, the original, manufactured in Charlotte. I am excited to try this. And it looks, uh, it looks just like bacon, um, but it's obviously going to have some sugar on there and uh, it'd probably be preserved in, uh, in a jerky sort of way. I'm a big fan of jerky lately because DJ is pushing me all the time as a doctor uh, pushing me all the time to change my diet to be like a full-on keto diet. She says that is not just the big rage, but it really is a good diet to be on in general. Um, that She also is a big fan of the intermittent fasting. I'm not all the way on board with either one, but every step I take towards them, she approves of. And uh, jerky is a, is a great thing to have around as like a snack on your keto diet if you're into that stuff. So... So anyway, yeah, I've been keeping a lot of jerky stuff around, and I like it. Uh, DJ, obviously, she doesn't go in for it because almost almost all jerky is beef jerky. She won't. She doesn't just really doesn't eat beef. It's not a religious thing. Again, just a, she never grew up with it, so she's not used to it. So it's just weird to her. Um. Yeah, but uh, but I do, and it's great. And I've tried her on like the turkey jerky or chicken jerky that you can get. She's just not into it. The dried meat thing, not not appealing to her. But it works for me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get into that, believe me. And then this is pumpkin spice candy balls. Pumpkin spice candy balls. Wow. I can smell it as soon as I open it. The like pumpkin spice. Wow. This is obviously for DJ. Uh, we'll see if she gets into it or not, because if she doesn't, I will eat every single one of these. I already want to eat them. I'm, I must be hungry. My mouth is just watering right now. And you guys have sent me so much food. It really is primed me to eat a ton. Uh, you also sent a Rubbermaid box. These are the ones that you make the, um, the enrichment boxes out of, which are perfect for cats to play with. You sent me a fresh one here, and you said in your letter, I think, that I could do a demo. I thought you meant a demo of how to 
um, play with them. But it's obvious that you made a demo of how to make one. So I'm going to have to get a couple tips from you because I don't know what you do to finish the holes that you cut. And I think that's an important part, the way that you finish them. So you'll have to let me know on the chat what your technique is or what tool you use. Uh, but I think actually making a demo for people would be a great idea because I bet, just like the one I did for the noodle stick, I bet there's a lot of people out there who would love to make their own. And it's such it seems like such an easy thing to do. And it is really a great little toy that you can make yourself for your cat, you know? Um, although you don't even have to do it with a plastic box. Uh, you can just get a cardboard box and cut some holes in it and throw a couple toys in there, and your cat will love you for it. Uh, if you have cardboard boxes, and I know somebody that does, uh, that is always a way to to use recycle some of those cardboard boxes. Close them up, cut a couple holes, toss a toy in there where the cat can just sort of reach it, and uh, that is just tons and tons of fun. I'm going to close this up and write endowments on it. Uh, I should also point out uh, V underscore kitten. Uh, you have sent us way more of those enrichment boxes in the past than we needed right away. So I, I'm pretty sure we still have some for the next couple of classes. We always put them in the endowments. Um, and uh, I'm pretty sure that we still have some for the next class. So don't worry about the fact that you sent a smaller box. We are doing fine. Uh, I'm just going to write endowment. <laughs> go. Excellent. All right, we're down to our last box, and that last box is a drop shipment, so I'm guessing this is going to be a quick last one. We're going to just wrap it up. Uh, so let's see what we got here. The underscore kitten. I can't believe how many of those toys you always send us, and they're the best toys, the, the fantastic toys. Thank you so, so much for sending them. I, I really can't say thank you enough. All right, here we go. We are, we made it, we made it. If you made it through, you should give yourself a pat on the back because this was a massive, massive mailbag. And I think we all, we all came through it together, you know? We're, we're bound now by this experience. Um, so, all right, there is a penguin cat bed here. I can see that it is. it has penguins all over it. It's shaped that sort of blue, maybe sort of an igloo shape to it overall. It does, uh, it says self-cooling pet bed. Interesting, self-cooling. I guess just because it's printed like, uh, like actually, the material does feel a little cool. That's interesting. That'll be good for when it gets warm out again, which is inevitably going to happen. Uh, it may also be one of those things for global warming. I mean, who knows? Uh, and, and a mystery box. Printed flannel rectangle plush dog cat bed self-warming. Oh, look at that. We have a self-warming bed and a self-cooling bed in the same box. This is an all-season uh, gift here. And it says, uh, it's, well, I don't know which is which, though, because we've got two notes here. One says, Enjoy your gift from Rinda Lynn for Pebble. And the other one says, enjoy your gift from Rinda Lynn for the faculty. So uh, Rinda Lynn, you can, I know you are on the Discord chat. You can let me know which one is for which, because I don't know. Um, but I am going to, I want to see the warming bed. So let's just take a quick look here. Let's just take a look. Let's all see this together. Oh, uh, this is clever. They packed it with an extra piece of cardboard on top so I don't accidentally cut all the way through into the bed when I open it with a knife like I just did. But I didn't anyway. I didn't even nick the cardboard because I'm good like that. All right, here we go. It is, uh, oh, it's just, a, it's a big red bed with a white inside. It's very pretty. These are both from Holly Pet. Oh, wait, it's not just red and white. It's got a Santa Claus belt buckle on it, so I can see it's going to look like a Santa Claus bed. Oh, that is too cool. Is there anything on the inside? I'm not going to pull it all the way out because I won't be able to squeeze it back into this bag, and I don't want it to get covered in cat hair yet. It's just it's just white on the inside, red on the outside, and the front has the, the Santa Claus belt on it, so you can tell the white, red, black, and uh, the gold belt there. This is clearly a Santa Claus bed. So perfect. 
so we have a penguin cooling bed and a Santa Claus heating bed, and uh, I can just I put them next to each other, and the cats can just go from one to the other, like like when you get into a, a hot tub in the winter, and then you get out and you get really cold, and you get in, you get really hot, and you just go back and forth, right? That's what this is all about. Okay, Rindalyn, thank you. Seriously though, let me know. I'm guessing. I'm guessing that the heating bed is for the faculty because it's Christmassy and the penguin bed is for Pebble because uh, she's stone cold. Um, I don't I don't really know. I'm just making that up. Uh, you let me know, okay? We'll make sure it goes to the right place. Uh, and there we have it. That was a mailbag and a half. Uh, that was the longest mailbag we've had in a long time. It is now 12-12, which is a, a fortuitous time to end on a lucky number. So thank you all so much for joining us. As usual, I am going to get all this stuff packed up and moved out. And while I'm doing that, you can continue to watch these kittens. And then uh, I will end the archive after all of that is completed. Uh, thanks again to everybody that sent something. Thanks again to everybody who didn't send something. Uh, thanks to the folks who wrote us the letters. Thanks to the folks who just watched, who just like to watch the mailbag. It's great. Uh, you don't realize it, but we're watching you too, right through that camera every week. So thanks for tuning in. And uh, yeah, all right, let me take this stuff out. Good job, by the way. If you made it through, good job. Even if you didn't do it all in one session, uh, if, you, uh, if you had to take a break and then rewind, or if you had to watch it in the archive, uh, nice work nonetheless. I'm glad that you decided to go through it for the long haul, because there was some cool stuff in there. Uh, tons of candy too, which I'm super excited. I'm starving right now. It is it is lunchtime. That candy's going to really hit the spot after I eat some leftovers so I don't just fill up on candy, right? Well, I could. I could do that. There's enough candy there. We'll see. We'll see about that. And I'm guessing DJ will be home any minute now. <laughs> Let me see. Did she tell me when she was going to be home? I can tell all of you guys when she's going to be home. No, all she says uh, is that she's coming home, but she might stop to get something to eat. So I don't know. She could be home anytime now. I'm really excited to go back and read everything that I missed on the chat. I've got two, two, and a, two and a half hours almost of chat to go back and read now, see what people thought. I apologize one last time for being a little off my game today. I feel like I'm just now hitting my stride, so let's get uh, let's, let me go get some other boxes, and we'll just keep going. We'll go all day. No, I'm just kidding. We'll uh, I'm just kidding. We will uh, we'll do this. Um, we'll do the the Christmas trees tonight, though. I hope I have the energy for that. I hope DJ gets a nap so she has the energy for that too, because we are committed to the Christmas trees tonight, and uh, that's, that really is just a treat for our Patreons, although I think last year we released a, uh, like, a, like a time-lapse video of us putting up the tree, didn't we, to everybody? I know we made one, and I know at least the Patreon saw it, but I think everybody did. We might do something like that again this year. We'll see. Okay, I got I to gotta stop talking now. I'm in talking mode, and I got I to gotta wrap this up. You guys all need a break. Okay, I need a break. Oh, boy, I need my legs back. Seriously, oh, I'm getting too old for this. All right. Oh, it's going to take me a while to get all this cleared out on my own, so uh, bear with me, but you guys can watch some kittens in the meantime. And uh, I know these guys are running around down here where you can't see them, uh, but one of them is sleeping where you can. If I just flip this around... Not bad. That looks like blue jean to me. Too cute. All right, okay. Well, let's start right here. Food, I got a spot for food right out this door. This is, it might be a little loud. The door's right next to the microphone. Hold your ears. Here we go. Not that part, the closing. Here it comes.
right. Oh, I had to stop for my bathroom break. I've got a bunch of you two, too. <clears throat> I know I could not have been the only one. I'm just going to, for now, I'm just going to write pebble on this box. And, uh, and and I'll do that if I can find something to write with. Here we go. Until uh, Rinda Lynn lets me know which is for who. There we go. Uh, of course, uh, we could just give them both the pebble. Uh, the pebble go home before Christmas? Well, not not quite actually. Pebble go home right after Christmas, I guess, huh? Uh, that's okay though. We'll figure it all out. We'll figure this out. Let's see. I don't think I can fit all of this in this in this box. I need to upgrade to a bigger box before I take this down. Let's do this. Actually, this I should set out with the rest of our food like I said I would. These we can put all in and down. I think if I were DJ. Oh, hey, stop playing with the microphone. Kulad, Kulad is banging on the microphone. I'm sorry, folks. I am so sorry. Here we go. I'm, uh, I'm saying if I were DJ, I would separate out the treats and the non treats endowments. I think she does that. So. That's what I will do. Tiny pants, tiny pants. It says endowments, but I'm going to do what I just said. Separate out the treats and the non-treats. Wow, these kids are spectacular. Hi, Maggie. You heard all the bells, and you're like, oh, is there something in there for me to play with? I'm sorry, Mags. Good, good, good. So this is this is endowments for everybody. So I can put it in a generic endowments box, even though it's not generic at all. Put it in there. I'm sorry, I say generic. I don't mean generic like the toys are generic toys. I mean generic like the endowments that can go to any cat. That's, that's what I've been calling them. Now, this needs to have endowment treats written on it. Look at you playing with this little Swedish mouse. Very cool. Treats. Perfect. I think I've got this organized roughly like DJ would. I think she'll be proud of me. Probably. We'll see. So here's an interesting point about this. Uh, I saw a message from Lisa that said uh, about this painting from Portrait Flip. Uh, well, I'm mentioning it again because they would like us to, and I have no objection to that if you send me something, at least to mention. But I will be uh, real honest about what I think of it. I think the art, like I said, it's spectacular. The, the, the painting is it's a beautiful painting of a cat. Um, the, just the brush strokes are beautiful. The colors are gorgeous. The, the light on it is beautiful. It's a fantastic painting. I, I love it. I will put this in my office and be proud of it forever. Uh, the trick is I just looked back and I saw a message from Lisa who said that they had written to her about it. And um, 
she said to them, just like she would say to anybody, hey, you know, we don't really do uh, advertisements, but if you send something during a mailbag, we'll discuss it during mailbag, just like anything else anybody sends, which is exactly our policy. And uh, she says to me on the chat, she had said, I sent them a picture of custard. Um, that does not look like custard to me. It, it really doesn't. Um, it's, it's captured his expression. I will say that much. Like his eyes, that looks like custard's eyes. Um, but maybe it's because of the, the warmth of the photo. They've got all this color in his face that uh, is not there in, in real life. Maybe this is just supposed to be from the light in the, in the room. Maybe the picture that she sent them was deceptive. Uh, I'll have to see which picture she sent them to, to evaluate whether I think they really did a great job of doing custard or not. Because uh, it does capture him, his essence, but it, the color on his face really throws me off. So we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll judge it based on what picture she sent. We'll figure that out. And obviously, you all will judge it too, won't you? Of course you will, because that's what we do. We learned our lesson from Ivy. Let me get some of this stuff out of here. Wow, DJ's here, but she is exhausted, which makes sense. I mean, she went to work last night at, I don't know, uh, 8 o'clock she left, and she'd been up for a few hours before that even. She got up at 4 yesterday, which would mean that she's been up for 20 hours, maybe a little more than 20 hours. Uh, so she's wiped out. She's laying on the kitchen floor right now, snuggling with custard. She won't even get up far enough to look at the screen to see whether this looks like custard to her or not. Uh, although I was looking at it on the screen, it does kind of look like him. I don't know. I don't know. I still want to see the picture that, uh, that Lisa sent them. What? What do you mean? Does that look like custard? Um. I know. Here, you can move this out of the way. Oh, uh, it's like art of It is art. Yeah, I mean, it's really art. You can see it's it's not just a photograph. Oh, it's him on uh, the... You recognize the blank? The cloak, so? yes. No, it's naughty. It's so cute. I know. They've really got captured, like, his expression and the shape of his face. What is this? Is this, like, someone... It's a service called Portrait Flip. And they apparently sent this to us as an advertisement. Lisa sent them one of the pictures of custard, and they oh. drew it. So now that I'm looking at it, the thing that threw me off is it's got all this color on his face. But yeah. I think that's just supposed to be the light in the, yeah, in the room. Yeah, the pink around him. That's so deceptive, though. It's, it threw me off. I, I didn't know. I looked at it, and I'm like, oh, this is one of the cats that has an orange on their face. Oh, but, yeah, no. But, you, but the, they did capture his expression perfectly. So it's like a filter, really, and then they print it, or what? I, it says they do it by hand, and I, I feel like I can see brush strokes on this canvas. So I think they just have like a whole team of artists, probably, that just sit there and, and paint from pictures all day long. It's a great job. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful art, right? They paint? Yeah, I think it's, look, it's, it's real. Look, you can see the brush strokes. This is real painting. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, so that explains why, like, they don't know custard. Yeah, they don't know if that's not they color on his face. But that's what I was saying to the people on the okay. stream. We're still on the archive, by the way. Um, so this is being recorded for posterity. Um, 
Portrait was, flip. Portrait, portrait flip. I know, portrait flip, yeah. Um, portrait flip. Yeah. I was saying I want to see the picture that Lisa sent them because maybe they did a perfect job of it and I just can't tell because it's not, you know, it's the lighting was deceptive in the picture she, she picked. We'll see. It's still, it's a, it's a gorgeous painting, and it does. It looks just, now that I know it's him, it's the face. Voice, I know, I've been talking for two and a half hours without stopping. Why? Because the mailbag could, started at 10. It was a big one. You could just not we talk skip. as much and just open the packages and show them. Mm -hmm. Just silently? Yes. Okay. Meow. Like Vanna White flipping over letters? Yeah, you just like, like read the letter. And the rest the show. These two boxes are stuck, but you're either for us or for us to deploy. Oh my god, that's all this. Uh, we got a Swedish package from Frida, who wrote to us a, uh, like a year and a half ago. Oh yeah. And yeah, she included all kinds of Swedish oh, stuff that god. I'm really excited about. Chris. Plus, she included, you remember the salmiaki? Oh she my god, what is that? That is to draw on. What? Yeah, it's a pineapple for us to decorate with that you draw on. What are you saying? I don't understand you anymore. <laughs> what? It's a weird combination of words, but I that meant literally what I just said. It's like the other pillow that yeah. we So you, like we draw on it by flipping the seat. Exactly. And it's a pineapple. Because it's a pineapple. Okay. <laughs> I mean oh. I've got a bunch of stuff in there that I I have to show you, but I can take it all out first. Um, it's a beautiful painting. Do you, you, you think you would put it sideways like a picture in it? Oh. It looks better that way? Yeah. No, see, now I get it. And that looks maybe a little more like picture. him. Yeah. Huh, now it all makes sense. You know, this whole thing, their advertisement would have gone a little better, I think, if I'd known ahead of time what picture we had used. It was used. It's adorable. Actually, yeah, that's how you use it. Well, there's a, yeah, there's a, it is because there's actually there's a little hook on the back. It's hidden behind the canvas. They put it up there on the But mantle. there's a hook on the back to have it this the way. Doesn't mantle these books, does he? No, he hasn't. That might attract him over there. Look at, wait, there's Custard right there. Can I take a picture of him looking through the door that's next to it? Custard. Custard. Hey, down here, buddy. Look over here, right here. Okay, there we go. That's a great picture. Thank you. Oh my god, your voice is changing. Uh, I know, it's a little hoarse. It's fine. I can smell it. It's like strong pumpkin spice.
those chairs, so I would just say no, but, you know, if you really want them, there's no reason not to. Well, I don't think we want two Christmas trees both in one room.
Tiny purple belly.
that's on that, but it's empty. Give me a little longer than usual to get things out of here, sorry. Oh, oh. man, I'm still having some issues. Obviously, still haven't put everything away where it belongs, but I think I should go ahead and wrap up the archive. Oh, that was a big bang. Guess I better go see what's going on. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. If you are watching live, you don't have to go anywhere. But if you're watching on the archive, uh, thanks for tuning in and feel free to check us out on the regular Kitten Academy live stream.